Alrighty, there we go. Hello. Welcome everybody. I hope you're settled because it is a long stream today. <laughs> I'm wearing comfy pants. I'm ready. I'm ready to rumble. I mean, I'm not ready at all. I'm tired as fuck, but uh, it's it's time to get going. Uh, Art Rocket, hello buddy. Yeah, a bit of a time to see. I hope you're well. I hope you're well. Sounds of things you had a good Christmas. You had a good Christmas. Dutch Noctia. Jashika, hello. <laughs> hello. Sorry, I'm, I'm like a tad late. Hang on. Uh, it's okay. We'll go, we'll go three minutes. We'll go three minutes later, I swear. Hold on. There's just one thing I wanted to do, uh, before we officially get started. Um, hmm. Uh, new setup, kinda? Not really. So, so just, uh, to reference for, for guys who were here the other night when I said the new overlays would be here. The new overlays are not here. Don't, this is not the new overlay, obviously, because we saw this yesterday. Um, new overlays will be in in the new year. As for, as for what we're doing now, Arch Rocket, yeah, like, I, I don't know what you saw last, buddy, but we've got the green screen, I've got double lights, got no hair, a whole bunch of new stuff. Um, we're only really in this sort of look, as in, like, with the chat and everything for Morrowind, because it's a, <clears throat> it's a boarded game, but, like, yeah, for the most part, we're, um, this is pretty much just how we, how we do things for Morrowind, really. Um, Toolbox, well, 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 if it isn't me coming up, uh, start turning up at the start of an Aussie stream, Toolbox, buddy. Well, that's not a good start. I don't have a long enough cable for this. Oh, shit. Alright, well, we'll see how long the battery lasts. Um, <laughs> we'll see how long that battery goes for. Uh, but yes, welcome everybody, welcome. Uh, Artrock, going back to, Artrock, going back to your question... Uh, in regards to what, uh, that clip was earlier. That was from me playing Ring Fit, uh, for a charity stream we did a couple of months ago. And that was pretty fun. That was pretty fun. Um, hold on for a second, guys. I have, give me a moment. I just want to quickly grab something. I, I need to grab something from the console scene. Give me a second. Uh, so this is, this is what it would look like if we pl were playing, uh, Morrowind, um, without my changes. All right, let's go back to Morrowind. Yeah, UK fam hype. Damn straight. There we go. All right, sorry we lost chat box, but it's okay. It should be back now. Uh, paste duplicate. Turn it on. Hey, there we go. There's our countdown. Woo! All right. Uh, I don't know where this should go. Just to put it in the middle of the... I mean, it's not like anything happens at the bottom, yeah? So yes, I'm aware. I should have had this set up earlier. I know, I know. Don't at me. There we go. That'll do. That'll that'll have to do. That'll have to do. Dark Ionis, hello! Left to line, please. Okay, alright, left to line, left to line. Alright, all right, all right, left to line. So you mean over here, Noctia, like that? Like that? Is that okay? <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> Yeah, or do you want it at the top? Speak now, forever hold your peace. <laughs> Just the new laptop with insurance come tomorrow. GG. It is okay. Alright. It is okay. Alright. Sorry, I just spilled water all over myself. Alright. Yeah, yeah. We're going to celebrate the new year before everybody. That's right. This stream goes until the new year. In fact, it has to go three minutes over the new year because I was three minutes late. Um, but this stream goes all the way to the new year. We're going to finish Morrowind. We're going to play some Minecraft. And then we're going to scare throw it up in Resident Evil 7 until the new year triggers over. That's what we're doing. That is today's plan. I've got water. I don't have any coffee. I'll have some coffee later. But I've got some water. i got some... i got some almonds. Got some almonds. Got some fruit outside. <laughs> uh, Alright. Spooners, is that an imposter? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Spooners is the Spanner's imposter. Wait, what? Do you sleep? Uh, Jess, I mean, if you sleep, you'll be able to catch me at the Scarecrow part of the stream, yeah? <clears throat> I'd rather you you get some sleep. I don't, I don't want you to be, you know, dead to the world for your New Year's. That's That's just rude. That's just rude. <laughs> oh dear um but yes welcome in everybody thank you for choosing to join me uh at the start of the stream 
Uh, yeah, so Morrowind. Yes, Dutch, you do need to sleep. I don't know why you're still awake. Jonesy, you can't finish right at midnight. There'd be no actual New Year celebrations then. You start the celebrations at midnight. Jonesy, I mean, I'll go three minutes over. We can celebrate for three minutes, yeah? Also, hope you're well, buddy. Hope you're doing well today. You only came home from work about 45 minutes ago. Ugh, oof. Yeah, of course you are. Of course you would be. I mean, like, you, you just got home from work. <laughs> it makes sense that you're wide awake. It, it absolutely makes sense that you're wide awake. Yeah, Arch Rocket, I'll be, I'll be in the new year an hour before you Queensland guys. <laughs> Melbourne is ahead in time. We are in the future. <laughs> oh, dear. All righty. So, what is going on in Morrowind? So, we, remember guys, we are the reincarnated legendary hero, the Nerevarine. This is us. All hail the Frogonian. Um, this is us. Uh, we are trying to convince all of the uh, tribal Ashlanders of Morrowind that we are their legendary hero. We are trying to convince the political parties of Morrowind that we are their champion. We have done so. We are one political party away from making everybody in Morrowind accept us as their lord and savior. Simple as that. We are we are so close. Uh, we are so close, in fact, that uh, I need to just quickly do something. Okay. Uh, beautiful. So. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. No, I want to go... Oh, I want to go here. No, this is not right. Hold on, two seconds, guys. Sorry, what a terrible start to the stream. Um, Give me a moment. Uh, That's what I want. Beautiful, excellent. Perfect, okay. So, uh... Once we have, once we have, uh, uh, gained, garnered the, 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 um, the acceptance of all the political parties of Morrowind, we'll be able to, um, essentially approach the temple, or the, the, the holy men, and say, Hey, I know you guys don't like the fact that we are stuffing up your plans for, you know, control of Morrowind, but whether you like it or not, we are a legendary hero, and you should love me. And we'll go from there. We'll see how that works out for us. Right. So. Now that I've finished monologuing what's going on in Morrowind, uh, Jashika, Future Sailors, anyone want to hazard a guess? Unfortunately, I do not know where Future Sailors came from. I, I apologize. I do not know. I do not know. I don't know. This is just not information in my brain. In the toolbox, incidentally, uh, VC and you had a murder mystery night over Zoom. You spent the whole night calling the other players mad sus. Please tell me that there were other players that, like, understood you were talking uh, with memes from... Tell boss. That's where we're going? Tell boss, right. Uh, with memes from... Telmora. Voss. Okay. Tellarun. I think the closest place is going to be Sadrith Mora. Yeah, I think it is. Um, actually, I got an idea. Actually, I got a better idea. Let's go back to Balmora. Uh, so, yeah, I hope they, I hope they got the, the meme, man. That sounds like fun. It does. Oh, the Mighty Boosh! Oh, I, I have seen one episode of the Mighty Boosh, Jess. I apologize. Uh, I have seen the Crack Fox episode. That is the one and only episode of Mighty Boosh I have seen. FYI. But I have seen it, so I do know that that is what you're talking about. And, and we're talking like 15-year-old Aussie Dev Fro, so we're talking about an Aussie Dev Fro that honestly can't remember half the shit that he watched. Alright, we need, we need to start stocking up. We're getting towards the end of the game. So we need to start stocking up on Restore Health Potions. Um, more Restore Health Potions. We also need to stock up on uh, stat uh, restoration potions. Because honestly, 
we could get our butt handed to us if we're not careful. So this is a lot of money, but we have a lot of money. Okay. Perfect. That is actually a lot of money. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see if we can sell a few things. Uh, do we have anything? Do we have anything we can sell back? I mean, we have a lot of magical amulets. Okay. I think I need to start clearing out some of this infantry, right? We are not using half the shit we have here. But it's also good. Nah, I can't part with it. It's also good. Nah, nah, we're gonna keep it all. Alright, I'm actually pretty happy with what we just did there. Uh, we want to get to tell Voss. Uh, in the books, they all understood, which is definitely a benefit. Yep. Luckily, pretty much all the other players also play Among Us. Oh, that's good. Oh dear lord, the Crack Fox episode even made you uncomfortable. Well, that's the thing. I think, um, Toolbox, I was too young to really sort of understand every joke they were making. You know of the Mighty Boosh? You haven't watched an episode though, Jonesy? Probably for the best. It's a really, really rough show, I'm pretty sure. You relate to old Greg? You actually want to get a shoe-shaped glass drink? To the glass to drink Bailey's out of? Oh my god. Wait, this isn't our house. I mean, it is our house, but it's not our house. It's not the house we um, borrowed from that person who's dead. Who we totally didn't kill. Alright, this is our egg house. We will dump our eggs. See? Eggs. Does everybody, like, not... Like, can we just appreciate the dedication to the egg uh, collection that I've done in this game? I've legit picked up every single egg that I've... There we go. They take up inventory space. They're, they're heavy. Eggs are heavy, guys. Like, look at all this crap that I've been collecting. Look at it all. And you could be going, hey, Ozzy, why don't you sell this stuff? There's honestly no reason to sell it. There, there really is no reason to sell it. I've got too much money. Yeah, the Mighty Boosh was very rough and trippy. Very rough and trippy. Okay. We are going to get... We're going to get our stuff repaired. We're going to get our tributes restored. And then we're going to start heading towards the final political party that we need to convince. Uh, to make us their champion. There we go. Uh, cool. You know what? Since we're going to be on the field for a while, let's grab... Let's grab... How much do they weigh? Three. Let's grab those. What do you mean office refused? Get out of town. Nobody is so messed up, Jess. Oh, no. Nah. Okay. Alright. So I'm just gonna head into this temple. We're not gonna tell these guys that I'm the legendary hero because they will literally attack us on sight. The temple still doesn't like us. The temple still doesn't like us. But we can still use their shrines. Uh wait, this isn't what I want. I need I need um I need an Imperial Temple. Oh yeah, I know where I can get one. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jess, I know just enough about what you're talking about to know what you're referring to. Is there something I can do for you? Right. So we're going to teleport to a town called Tel... Uh, sorry, we're going to teleport to a town called Sadith Mora. From Sadith Mora, we're going to wander through to Tel Vos. At Tel Vos, that is the, uh, the sort of like the, the council place for the, um, the political party known as the Telavani. The Telvani are fickle. The Telvani are a, a, are a political party of mages. And I mean, not we're not just talking about normal mages. I'm talking about like the the crazy obsessive uh, don't look at me fun, funny or I turn you into a smoking ash pile uh, mages. Okay. Alright, we're healed. There we go. Those are some good looking stats. Those are some good looking stuff. Wait, hang on. Agility should be higher, right? 
Yeah. Hang on. Take off that. Take off that. Our, our agility. Yeah, our agility's still balked. Why is our agility still balked? Restore attributes. Thank you. I was like, why is our agility so balked still? Okay, there we go. Better. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I'd be happy. But you also crashed on Link. Oh, balked, stuffed, roughed, cruffed. I don't know. What do you want me to say? Oh. There we, go. we should have probably rested before going on this trip. That's okay. Yeah, I'm balked, like. Yo, know, stuffed up. Not quite right. You had the series of 1 to 3 on DVD, watched them religiously. I kind of feel like maybe I should go back and watch them. I don't know. Never heard that saying before. To be fair, it's not really a saying that many people say anyway. In fact, I think I am literally one of the only people that say it. I'm not going to say I made it up, because I definitely don't think I did. Okay. So that's Teleroon. Telfia. Voss. Telmora. Telvos. Okay, cool. So, there we go. So that's that's where I want to go. We can travel to there, so let's do that. Uh, to Telmora. I could, I didn't believe it. Jess, what have I said about believing things that I say? Never believe things that I say. But, believe it when I say that my magic pants let me fly. Always believe you? No, 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 no. Woo! Magic flying pants for the win! Whee! Over the mountains we go. See, not even Morrowind's mountains can stop us. Also, magic pants. What? Have you seen these cuffs? Look at the purple glowy cuffs. Look at those pants and tell me they're not magical. Oh shit. That was painful. We are being attacked by another fish. Get out of here, fish. Oh, and a mud crab. Get out of here, mud crab. There we go. What are you two going on about? <laughs> oh, which link? <laughs> oh, no. Oh dear. Okay. Alright, so we've been here before. So we need to find a man named Mr. Aaron. No, oh, Master Aaron, not Mr. Aaron. He was hot back when graphics weren't great. I mean, like, I believe that, Jess. But isn't Ocarina of Time Link a kid? Or am I or am I severely outdated in regards to my Zelda knowledge. Or can he turn into an adult? Is No, adult Link. Okay. Alright. Where's a door? Oh my god, I need a door. Where's a door into this joint? Oh my god. Give me a door. Any door. Thank you. Hey, fancy shirt. Look. I just thought, you know, something that's not quite a normal black shirt or something would, would, would be nice. And this one just got washed, so I'm like, eh. Oh, you were about 10, okay. Did you guys hear that? What the hell was that? There it is again. There's a horrible noise. Oh yeah, I see the thing that's making a horrible noise. Yep, uh, is it angry? Is it angry? It is angry. Definitely angry. 
definitely angry. Also dead. Right, we can keep going up the tower. Aha! You are not the person we're looking for. Take your time, Frogonian, for a lord. Tell Voss is a bit strange. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for Ma Master Aaron. If you want to speak with him, you must levitate up to the top of the tower and look for a door facing south. Okay. We must levitate to the top of the tower. Look for a door facing south. Uh, well. Davy, Lurking from work, I see. Wait, this is a dead end. Does that mean we have to go out? Hold on. Well, oh, shit, I'm, I'm lost. There's a door here, right? So we leave, and then... Ah, oh, okay. Need to get up there somehow. Central tower, here we go. Oh! Oh, it's a steam centurion! Cool. Alright, where is the dude we're looking for? Oh my god, it's a glass helmet! Oh my god, it's a glass helmet! And an Argonian's wearing it! We can wear that helmet, chat. Might be one. We can... That... W I didn't think we could wear the helmet. I... We need the helmet. We... I'm, I'm sorry. Friend, you must die. I, I need your helmet. I... Sir, I need your helmet. I need your helmet. I... I like, we have been... Okay, as much as I love... I love our little derpy helmet, right? Look at our little derpy helmet. I love it. It's... It's... It's great. But... It's a... It's a glass Super Saiyan helmet! Fight me! Fight me! Alright, we're good. Okay. Give me that. Yes! We are now complete! This is our final form! Okay, I'm gonna admit, I kinda like the other look better. But for the interest of keeping us, like... The same... Look, I just... I needed the clothes, alright? Just... Look, just... Yeah, survival of the fittest, right? Imagine if you couldn't take the helmet. I'd be very sad. He said... Wait, hang on. He said... A door facing south. That's not south. That's south. Is there a door facing south? There is a door facing south. That door. Oh! No, 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 no! Uh, oh, oh! Okay, we're okay. Barracks and art. That's not what we want. Hang on. Then which... Hold up. Where is he then? There's another door south over there. No, but we... Is this the right tower? I don't know. Hey. They keep saying he's here. Like, the guy we're looking for is here. Levitate to the top of the tower. Look for a door facing south. Alright. But I'm I'm at the top. What do you want of me? Like I'm at I'm... There's no other door. What doors are you referring to? Oh, are you gonna try and sleep for a bit? Alright, I'll see you in the morning, Dutch. Ooh, that door, maybe? Possibly that door. Possibly this door? No. I can do this like one more time. Honestly, which, which freaking, there's so many doors here. Northeastern Tower? I don't know. We can go up here. It's weird because we're still levitating. 
Come one, come all to see the Flying Frogonian. Teacher Mark, hello. You're, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. We're very lost. Oh, God. We're very lost in this tower now. We killed someone for their hat, and now we're lost. Hello, hello. Seriously, like, where is he? Hang on. Dark Highness? Ozzy, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. What? He's a Dunma sorcerer living in Telvos. He's the master of the house Telvani. Blah, 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 blah. Where is he? Location. 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 I need... No, I want... I, I, I want to know how to get to him. No, I, th there's no instructions on how to get him. He is just somewhere in this place. Oh my god. Which tower though? Like, I feel like you would be in the central tower, right? Like, that that makes sense. Oh, no. No, Dark... Oh, don't look at that guy. Uh, Dark Highness, why? Why? Oh, God. No. No, you don't, Teacher Mark. You most certainly do not. Services Tower? Andil? Is he in... Oh, you got potions. <gasps> we need potions. We like potions. We're looking for more potions. No, that's Fortify. Ow. Won't restore. Uh, levitation potions useful. What to choose? Uh, don't. <laughs> don't choose. I bought a fortify. Where is it? Okay, Who will win? Jess remains silent. Yeah. It's, I, I like how they go, go up the tower. Levitate to the top. Look for the door facing south. There is no door. The only door facing south is that door over there. It wasn't too bad. Oh dear. Yeah, but Dark Highness was trying to trick me into saying something worse, so... Just saying. This, it has to be this one, right? I feel like it's this one. In the southern tower. I was reading from chat, this is true. Wait, no! We're bit... Oh, God damn. It's not this one. Oh my god. My dude is so spiky. He's very spiky now. This is true. Although, though, do you want it quoted? Uh, Mark, it is up to you if you want that quoted or not. It is entirely up to you. Yeah, I did just murder someone for this hat. What of it? A bit rude? Nah, it wasn't rude. To be fair, I... The the guy... That's a skeleton. To be fair, he attacked me first. Just saying. And it was self-defense. Now, I might have, you know, told him his nose looked big and... And, uh, and told him his ears were a little floppy, but at the same time, he didn't have to, you know, try to stab me over it, right? No, he did, Jess. I go back and want, look at the video footage. He attacked me first. Well done, Teacher Mark. You have been immortalized in a quote. I hope you're happy. 
Australian developer pro, I didn't take you for a lie. Jess, watch the footage. That Argonian attacked me first. Okay, it's not this tower. It's not this tower. It's not the central tower. So, it has to be a different tower. Okay. It has to be... Can't be that. It's not that tower. That's the southern tower. We've, we've gone through this one, yeah? That's the barrack. I mean, we haven't really... Oh, 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 no, there it is! There it is! There it is! There it is! This door is not facing... Oh, it is facing south. Oh. Okay. Well... <sighs> nah, you don't get context, teacher mark. You just gotta choose. <laughs> I'm a cow. Alright, we found him. I've heard of you, yes. You are the Outlander who wishes to be the Telvani Hortator. Uh, yeah, sure. This is me. A Hortator is a special champion, a war leader chosen to lead a great house in war. Why do you ask? I tell him my story. Yes, I understand. You are willing to take responsibility and I am willing to vote for you as Hortator. As... I think the other Telvani counselors will also cooperate, although some might need a little persuading. Master Neloth is ill-tempered, Mistress Dratha doesn't like men, and Mistress Tirana is losing her mind. Arch Magister Gothran is another problem. He will not refuse you directly, but will delay indefinitely. I recommend that you kill Arch Ma Magister Gothran. They can be jerks and shit everywhere. Oh my god, did you mark why? Alright. Archmaster Gothrin, Arch Archmagister Gothrin, never directly refuses request. He just delays indefinitely, never giving an answer. I don't know of any solution other than killing him. I'll tell you plainly. I stand to gain if Gothrin dies. I say this so you don't think I'm trying to trick you. My advice is still good. Gothrin won't name you Hortator, but he'll never come out and say so. And in House Telvani, it is customary to settle disputes in this matter. Yeah, I know, right, Jess? Was it a joke? Master Neloth lives in Tel Naga, the tower in Sedrith Mora. He is a short temper, but will listen to reason if you're persuasive enough. Do not expect him to be polite. Mistress Dratha is the eldest living Telvani counselor and is sustained by the necromatic arts. She dislikes men of all races, though I do not know why. You may find her in a tower in Tel Mora. Mistress Thrana, she has not aged well, has become more eccentric every year. Her tower is in Telbranora, which is Azura's coast. Okay, we know where that is. All right. So we know where most of these places are. In fact, we know where all of these places are. So, that should be fine. Anyway, the, the main thing is we know how to get to this guy again if we ever need to get to him again. So that's fine. In fact, I'm going to go so far as I'm going to put a mark down here. So we don't have to come back here again. Ducks hold a special place of hate in your heart. Oh dear. How can I help? Fair enough, teacher Mark. Fair enough. Wee! Oof! All right, we didn't just break toes that time. We totally broke our ankles. Damn it. Never mind. Alright, so. Mistress Dratha is in Telmora. Master Neloth is in Telnaga. Mr. Strana is Telbranora. Alright. So Telmora is just here. Um. Uh, Telnaga is here. Where's Telbranora? I forget what Telbanora is. Hmm. But yeah, I feel like a kid on Christmas morning, all shaking, excited, and cold at once. Wait, what? Why? Oh, because of the laptop. Yeah. 
So Jess has got a, a, a brand spanking new laptop coming in, Teacher Mark. Very exciting. It's kind of like how I'm going to feel when I get my... Oh, there's Telpreneur. Oh, that's ages away. Okay. All right. Let's go back to uh, Telmora and deal with Mistress Dratha, who, remember, is sustained by necromatic arts and hates men. So that's going to go down well, considering we are a male Argonian who is not undead. So that could be a problem. Ooh. What the hell is this? Voss. Is this a place? Huh. This is actually a village. I had no idea this place was a village. What? I don't think I've ever coming ever come here before. Look at this place. Yeah, I've legit never come here before. This is cool. Anyway. Uh, we want to go here. Whee! I have. I've just never, like, gone into the town. Very weird. Oh my god, how many ankles do I need to break here? You're going to wait half a year, but the Wi-Fi in this place is trash. Yeah, I'm a... Uh, teacher Mark, for reference, I'm not going to use the site that I showed you. I reckon you still should use it, though, but I won't be. I'll probably get the parts separately and build it, get uh, Roger to help me build it. Excuse me. Alright, so Telvania always up. So wherever you go, you just want to go up. They like being up high. This is down low. Possibly a little too slow. Why not? Just because I think I can get what I'm looking for cheaper. Where's my pants? After all that PC building scene, you shouldn't need help. Oh yeah, I, d I do need help. The act of doing the task is going to be... Oh. This item doesn't have enough charge. Bugger. Alright, fine. Let's just drink a potion then. I got a levitation potion somewhere. There we go. That was a cheap restore speed potion. That was useless to me. I don't really want to use an exclusive. I want a standard right for quality. Uh, okay. Exclusive. Far Cry 3 time? Nice. Okay. Here we go. That's the lower tower. We want to go to the higher tower. Savage. My brother is many things. Savage is not one of them. Okay. Oh, we're stuck. Nanine, you are not who we want to speak to. We just need to keep the levitation for a little bit longer. So remember, we're still levitating. We're still levitating. Wait, no. Oh god. Oh god, what have we done? We're clipping through the world. Oh no. Oh no, what's going on? No, we need to keep going up. Keep going up. Oh god, keep going up. Don't lose the levitation. Is that her? No, it's not. Quick. Oh, this is her. No, it's not. Wait, what? Hang on. Are we not high enough yet? <gasps> we might not be where we need to be. Wait, we are? Nani? Hang on. Who are we meeting here? Mr. Stratha. Oh, you were here. Okay. So, remember, she's undead and she hates men. So you know what I think we're going to do? I think we are going to... We're going to get our amulet that charms the pants off people. And we're going to give her a little zap. It's, it's, I've got an amulet, teacher Mark, that'll do it. Like, we're, we're very, very uh, persuasive already. What is this man doing here? Is it a lost? Uh, hello, Mr. Stratha. Wait, what? You're not Mr. Stratha. Wait, what? Your name is Dratha. Huh. <laughs> 
Okay. All right. I think this is her. So I've asked her about being the Telvani champion. And she's like, oh, Bavek, I think it's a man. It's wearing a man's skin. For now, listen carefully. There's nothing wrong with males. There's nothing wrong with rats, per se. I just don't like males or rats. So I think you'd best be going while you can. Okay, she doesn't like this at all. Uh, oh, never mind. I told her that her skin was glowing in the moonlight and she loves me all of a sudden. Oh god, chat. I mean, I... <laughs> chat, I've got to strike a manly pose and wink invitingly, don't I? I just, it, it's the only option that makes sense here, yeah? Meow, I know, right? Oh my god, it, it just, it has to happen. So this lizard man comes into your house, your private chambers, demands that you name him champion of your political party, then strikes a pose and winks at you. Well, aren't you the cutest thing? And that wink is so adorable. I must have it. Here? Hello? Who's on duty? I need someone to hold this fellow's head while I gouge out that cute little winking eye. Uh, well, that didn't work. Uh, let's try that again. Uh, this time, let's hurl ourselves at her feet and plead for a hearing. Oh, that's so pathetic. Look at the poor bunny. Oh, I suppose now we must be merciful and at least listen to it. Alright, so then we've told our story. Jashiki, you'll be spin? Well, there you go. GG. Well, hang on. Hold up. A stranger comes into your private bedroom, declaring himself to be champion of your political party, and then winks at you and your head over heels. I... Jess... Mm, hmm. Mm, okay. Oh, it's the, it's the, um, it's the Frogonian. It's, it's the, it's the spiky armor, yeah? Yeah. Hmm, well, I'm glad we listened. I'm glad you persisted. So there's something to those old prophecies after all. Well, I shouldn't wonder. Pig-headed battle mages don't pay any attention to Lady Azura's portents as they should. And you are the Fortoed Neverin? Well, then you shall be our Hortstor. You have my vote and my blessing and this scroll. It will come in handy where you're going. Well, that was easy. You think just this likes frog people? Yeah, no, I, I don't mind. That, that sounds fine. Don't kink shame. I'm not kink. No, no, I'm not kink shaming anyone. Geek, I have risen from my comfy bed to watch this on the computer so you don't nap too early. Mustn't nana this and fall asleep before midnight. Yes, geek. I mean, if you're going to be around, you don't want to miss what's going to happen at midnight. <laughs> ah, my ankles. Um. Uh, it's a scaly, teacher mark. Dragons and lizards, scalies. Oh, wait, amphibi amphibian. Yeah, slimy. Sorry, slimy. Look how much better we look with the new spiky helmet, guys. I corrected myself, Teacher Mark. I corrected myself. Thank you very much. Okay. So this guy, we were told this guy is rude. At midnight, the fro is going to return to full power. Damn straight. He's going to berate me for it. Fair enough. In the talks, as soon as this clock strikes midnight, glorious fro shall burst forth from Ozzy's head. Oh my god. I wish. I, I, chat. I've been really kind of hoping for my hair. <laughs> like, I really want my hair back. I'm not even going to lie. I've been missing it. Hardcore. Yeah, yeah, my fro is it. My fro is its own like species, geek. Like the thing is, I don't. I'm not saying it doesn't suit me. Like the short hair does 
it works, right? But it's not me, if that makes sense. I mean, there is a there's a secret door up here that I must climb to. And it doesn't suit the brand. This is true. Oh, oh, up, 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 up. Oh, keep going up. Keep going up. Up, up, all the way. Up, 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 up. There's a trapped door there. Quick, 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 before it runs off. All right, is this who we want? Is this? No, you're not who I want. Uh, none of these people are. Are you who I want? Yes. We found him. Okay, that was lucky. The one K followers would be wasted. Hey, you just change name. Is the frog ass action doing it for you, Jess? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. These are pants. There you go. Got a whole load of frog upskirt. Exactly. Alrighty. Uh, Neloth, name me Tavani Hortador, please. Hortador, war leader of House Tavani. Is that necessary? Why does anyone tell me about these things? So, do you want the job? Are you qualified? Good. Then go ahead. I don't care. Be the Hortador and go away. Well, I suppose that work. Uh, cool. There you go. Well, that works. Um, kind of want to. There's doors over here. Trapped doors. Let's not anger the person. Yeah, that was that was actually super easy. Um, let's not anger the person who just said that he was just like the easiest person to convince. Whee! Oh god. How did we not take damage? What? How how did we not take damage from that fall? That makes no sense. Alright, so that's that one. Uh now we need to go to Tel Brenora. Yeah, thing, things are a little easy when you sort of, like, know how to manipulate people. <laughs> and when you have an amulet that you... You literally take this amulet, press it up against someone's forehead, and go, you will like me now, and they like you. Honestly, Teacher Mark, if you ever play through this game, you should, um... You should, uh... Complete the Imperial Temple quest line. They give you some really good, uh, items. You took damage on the tiny fall, not the big one. Yeah, I know, right? How weird. Is there something I can do? Okay, Mistress Thorana is insane. She's actually literally insane in the Morrowind mythos, so this could be interesting. You don't think you could go into Morrowind? Fair enough. Alright. So she's going to be up here. Maybe if the Skywind mod comes out. Yeah, see, I I also really wanted to wait for the Skywind mod, but in the end, I just couldn't do it. Like, I just, I really got a hankering for it. So. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Ho, ho, ho. Anyway. I mean, isn't it weird how the tail... Just goes like straight down when he walks in this mode. Like, what is going on? Bow chicka wow wow. I know, right, teacher Mark? Okay, is this the right one? I think we need to go for further. Oh no, that is the right one. Cool. <laughs> Orbgasm. Yep. We might still need to levitate a bit more. Um. Yep, Thorana's chamber. And then we're gonna, yep, we need to levitate a little bit more. Oop, forward a bit. There we go. Uh, there she is. No, that's not her. That's a man. That was awkward. There she is. Jonesy, you so want that Skyrim mod, but you'll probably never come out. Yeah, I think, I think we're, I, I don't think it's gonna come out. I think it's it's kind of like one of those projects that'll never really come for. All right, Thorana, name me Telvani champion. It's a steel box, of course. You you keep things like bitter green roots in it, and it keeps them fresh with a little net blood. Or is that a heart hormador? Yes, or spiders in a box. Spider eggs keep them fresh with net blood. 
Oh, you wouldn't have any, would you? Spider eggs? Nice, fresh ones? Ah, so, go ahead. Show me the hoardador. Hormador? You got it with you? I'm always happy to get some fresh spider eggs. Or spiders. When I was much longer, we grew our own spiders. What about Skyrim multiplayer? You'd love to get that happening. Toolbox, that is a very cool idea. That is a very cool idea. I, um... I do have Skyrim on PC, and by the time we get to... Actually, hold on. By the time we get to, um... Playing Skyrim, because I do intend to do Oblivion. And then Skyrim. Uh, when we get there, I reckon... Maybe I'll have my new laptop. No new computer, so we... Possibly. That could be fun. Alright. I'm going to... Uh, Jess, you're going to listen politely? Okay. In Hormidors, big ones. Needed them big for the spiders. What? Spiders? You listening? Spiders, that's what I said. Big ones. So you need a big Hortador. Ours was steel, with silver plating. Kia Joe used to polish it. Cute little kitty. Had it since I was a bitty kitty. Gone now, of course. Drop dead. They get old, and then you have to get new ones. Never quite as good as the old one. It's of course. But what can you do? Oh, there you are, Frogonian Frolord. What was your name again? Are you listening to me? The webcam wasn't synced. I reset it. I reset it. Is that better now? Is that better now, guys? No. How about now? Is there, are we still out? About a second out. That makes no sense. What are we at? I what? Better? Okay. Weird. Because I haven't I hadn't touched the I think it was the microphone. I think it was the mic the microphone wasn't registering its delay properly or something. That's weird. Alright. Uh sorry guys. Was it was it like that the whole time? Damn, final Morrowind episode. We got camera issues. Alright, I mean we may as well just keep con uh, continue listening, right? Mr. Serana continues to chatter amiably, with no sign of stopping. She looks like she can go on forever. Do we keep listening? Yes, indeed. Sustained as she is by the necromantic arts, it may be that she can, in fact, go on forever, chatting without s stopping, ever. I'll keep listening. It's an endless loop. It's an endless loop, chat. We can't break it. I can't stop listening. Us Leos are stubborn, very stubborn. But uh we we can't we can't stop. Like that it, it won't let us continue. So unfortunately, we will tell our story and ask to be confirmed as Hortator. What? Oh, you wanna be Hortator? Certainly, go right ahead. Whatever you like. I don't mind. What were we talking about? Alright, she's good. All of these Telvani mages are undead, which is kind of scary when you think about it. Alright, so I think we've got them all. Oh no, we're going to do Archmagister uh, Gothran. Tell Arun. Okay. You like her weirdness? Yeah, she was fun. That is the same chamber we were just in. Eggs. Eggs are stopping me from moving. Get back here, eggs. Alrighty. So now we're going to go kill the Arch Magister of the Telvani, which is definitely going to go down fine, you know? Uh, tell Arun, which is... Wait, what? Yeah, tell, tell Arun. I don't know where that is. Telfia, Wolfsgrave. Ah, there we go. Oh, right next to Sadrath Mora. Nice. Okay. Um, where's the boat? Where's the boat? There's a boat, boat, boat. And a boat, and a boat, and a boat, boat, boat. This way, right? Beautiful. Excellent. Yeah, the Telvani are weird. I've always wanted to complete Morrowind uh, as part of the Telvani, but it's such a hard thing to do because you you need to play as a mage for them to like you first. 
then you need to like these places aren't easy to get to and you can't really be a part of the mages guild and gain some levels and stuff and then talk to them it just doesn't work like that so it's it's actually pretty hard to do um but i've always wanted to try i might actually do that in my own private playthrough at some point all right do we want to swim or fly we totally should fly yeah Never mind, we're swimming now. Wait, someone was watching you? There's about 11 people watching me. <laughs> There's always people watching me in-game. There's always people watching me out of game too, though. People like me. <laughs> Alright, careful. There's a... Yep, there's a fish. I knew there was a fish. Little tiny baby slaughter fish. Okay, we're gonna leave the bully netch alone. He's all good. He's just chilling. I love the jumping now. Alright. Hello, are you guys friendly? Hi, I'm for a go... Oh, no, not friendly. Not friendly. The bull net... Bully netch. It's 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 called a bull netch, but I like I like calling them bully netch. Uh oh. This could be a problem. Hey You gotta go work now as well, Jonesy? All good. Not sure what you do after work yet. No, that's totally fine. Jonesy, if I don't get to see you before the new year, uh enjoy your enjoy your New Year's Eve. I'll see you when I see you, buddy. If you do choose to join us, I look forward to having you back in tonight, yeah? Uh, have a good one, mate. Um, okay. I got a plan. I got a plan, chat. I got a plan. Hold on. Give me a second. It involves uh, a dud controller. Hold on. Hold on. I got this. I got this. Sorted, chat. Hold on. We will go back to a dud corded controller. <laughs> That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, I just like slammed to the, the desk with my knee. Boom! Alright, I will charge you when we're playing Minecraft, so it'll be good for Resident Evil. Um, oh god, there is so much dust on this controller. Ugh. Oh, and it's it's plasticky, and it's... Ugh, what, what, what horror? Oh no... Oh, what have I done? Oh, I've gone back in time. Oh, it sucks. It sucks so much. Chat, why? Why have you done this to me? Oh, okay. We are also being attacked. What you didn't do was charge a controller. I know. I know I didn't charge it. Because at the time, it wasn't a problem before. Oh, God. Uh, what? I think... Oh, no. Uh, I think this controller's broken. <laughs> I think this controller's broken. I can't push forward on the thumbstick. I can, but... Okay, so if I do that, it, it's not happy. Okay. Oh, my God. What is happening? Walk forward! Thank you. Right. Okay, so we want to get to the top. Oh god. Tower entry. Isn't there an auto button run? Uh, I don't think on the Xbox version. Okay, we need pants. Wait, why is my endurance broken? What the hell? That's better. I broke my legs a lot. I mean, I understand how logically that makes sense, but it doesn't quite make sense in Morrowind. Okay. Up, 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 up. 
tower. There we go. Uh, I think we want to just keep going this way. Living quarters. This makes sense. This makes sense. All right. We'll have to just persevere with this controller, which is going to be a bit of a pain, but that's okay. Zadie7Magnifique. Thank you so much for the hydrate, buddy. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, you are not who I'm looking for. You need to go to the upper tower. How do you get to the upper tower? <laughs> Jess, thank you for the failed trumpet. Not entirely sure what I did to deserve the failed trumpet, but thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, all I know is that the controller seems to be working now, so it's okay. Oh my god. Just let me out. Just because? Okay, fair enough. Alright, you know what? Let's just do this the easy way. Let's just fly up. Once again, more Frogonian upskirt shot, if you're into that sort of thing. Alright, there we go. There we go. There we go. Excellent, excellent. Upper tower. Beautiful. Right. So. Which apparently you are, exactly, Jess. It was all for you. Wait, what? Oh, no, there's another. I was about to say, where is the person we're looking for? Okay. So, this person is Grandmaster of the Telvani Order. This guy is possibly one of the strongest mages in the game. And we have to kill him. Because if we ask him to name us Telvani Champion... Yes, yes, I know what the Hortator is. Uh, I ask him to name me Hortator, and he goes, No, wait, let me think. Hmm, yes, I, I understand perfectly. Your story makes sense. Your proofs are persuasive, but dedication, or, but a decision on such a remarkable matter is a grave responsibility, and not to be taken in haste. I'll need some time to consider and confer with the other counselors. Leave me. I, I need him to make a decision. Oh, very well. I've heard your story, and you are not one of us, so I suppose I'll have to explain, or you'll just keep annoying me. I have no intention of naming you, Hortador. It is not in Telvani interest to name one unknown and unreliable outlander and outsider to such an important position. My opinion will not change. If you persist in bothering me, you will regret it. Huh. But if I persuade him heaps. Okay. He's he's not gonna help us. He won't help us. So there's only one solution here. The solution is death. So we taunt the shit out of him. Alright, he hates us. He's gonna attack us. Wait for it. You're gonna wait for him to do the first shot. Whoa! Holy crap! That was a big first shot. Oh my god. Oh, we're paralyzed. He's healed as well. If we can just kill him before he kills us! Oh my god. <laughs> That's a little close. That was a little close. Um, fortify health? Restore health. Okay, we got him. Those, they, they didn't despawn. I thought they were going to despawn. Okay, I thought, to be fair, I thought those guys were going to despawn. Um, they didn't. That's fine. Uh, I thought they were summoned. They are apparently not summoned. Interesting. So we need to kill him. Do we have anything that can really help us here? We have the vampiric ring. Okay. The Vampiric Ring actually is pretty useful. So he can hit us with his big spell to start off with. But then we can drain his health back out with the Vampire, vampire Ring. Alright. Let's try this again. Let's save here first. Because now we're ready for combat, right? 
Wait, has he told us he doesn't intend on naming us? Yep. Okay. How many titles can you give to this guy? Okay, we got him with the spell. He's paralyzed us again. Alright, we're just gonna... We're gonna have to, like... Oh god, we're gonna have to really just... Bulk up on heals. We can damage his Magicka. We'll do that after we heal. Hang on. I have a heal here somewhere. Can you back off? Back off? Thank you. Okay. We're not healing fast enough. Oh God. God. See, last time we... we oh, shit. Okay, we're gonna be really careful here. Oh god! Whoa! What the hell? I'm- I've clipped! I've clipped through the world! Oh god! Oh no! Oh, we're paralyzed. Hold on. We got potions for this. We got potions for this. Oh god, he's killing us! That's not the right person! Oh god! Okay. <laughs> Alright. This is- this is super tough! This guy is literally kicking our ass! Okay. I need- I need- I need to steal- okay. I think I- I think I got some health. I think I got some health. Um... The Galaxy Brainer. Oh my god, guys. Okay. Right, that's a heal. Okay, we're fully healed up now. Okay, now we're gonna hit him with this Black Storm. You know, we'll hit him with it. There we go, we hit him both. Right, we should win this fight now. Right, that's him down. He's healing. He's trying to heal. Oh, he's, he's, he's not long for this world, chat. He's done. Oh... He's done. Holy crap, that was tough. That was possibly the most difficult fight we've had to do in the entire game. Holy crap. I've never used more spells, scrolls. Oh my god, guys, okay. So. The Grand Hoo-Ha, the Big Pickle, the Big Cheese, the Big Boy, the Great Twinkler, the Mighty Floosh, the Head Honcho, the Galaxy Brainer, the Large Nub Bob, the Mega Knob, the Hooge Nips, the Giga Pabu. Guys, he's dead. He's gone. He is now a big ugly corpse on the ground. He's, he's out of here. He doesn't exist anymore. All right. Um... Let's, we can teleport back to the, the guy that we were getting. Oh dear, we can teleport back. The flippin' dead. Gone but not forgotten. Exactly. Alright, there we go. Greetings. You don't know his real name? His name was Gothran. Okay, Gothrin is dead. You don't even have anything from her. Telvani Hortstor. I see you've gathered the remaining votes of the surviving Telvani councillors. That means you are now Hortstor of House Telvani. And I have something for you. It's called the Robe of the Hortstor. And it is an ancient artifact that has been used, hasn't been used in centuries. I think you'd be pleased. I wish you luck, Hortstor. I may even pray for you. Shadows you want to nod in the corner of your eye. It's the it's the Arch Magister coming for revenge, uh, Jess. Rope? Do we do we want to be a sparkly Frogonian? Like, do we lose all our awesome armor to wear a sparkly robe? 
Or do we take the robe off? I kind of like keeping the robe off. I like seeing our armor. But we gave him glorious names. You're right. We did give him glorious names. All right. So that is it. We have we have actually united uh, the... Uh, We have united all of the political parties. We have united all of the Ashlander tribes. Everyone in Morrowind... Oh, oh shit. Uh-oh. Help. Help. Uh, we're stuck. We're, we're stuck. We, we are stuck. Help. Um, I'm, oh, there we go. Uh, we have united all of Morrowind under one name. Theoretically. Unfortunately, we still have a small problem. The problem is... Save, yes, good idea. <laughs> um, the, the, the problem we now have is... The official temple or religion of Morrowind... They don't accept me. So as long as they don't accept me... Um, the people won't accept me. You know, the, the various tribes and parties do. But the people don't. So... We need to go... To a head honcho. That's who we need to go to. That was the Imperial Shrine. I actually want to be there. You should go to bed, Jess? Possibly. Okay. Why are my stats... Why is my strength not buffed? My strength is... Yeah, why is my strength so low? Right, there we go. Right, much better. I, I can only... Re must only be able to restore one thing at a time. Alright, you'll see us in the morning? Alrighty, Jess. I'll see you soon, mate. Thank you for joining us. Have a lovely sleep. Okay, we want to go to... We want to go to Vec. Actually, let's go back and let's go find the Mage's Guild. Alrighty. Mage's Guild should be just in here. Should be up one, I believe. Mage's Guild, excellent. Uh, we'll use the Mage's Guild to teleport to Vec, and then we'll go have a chat with the temple, with the leader of the temple. Um, Please feel free to talk a joke. There we go. I see I stand in good you do stand in good company. All bow for the narrow ring. Oh god, power's gone in my head. <laughs> no, it hasn't. Thankfully. Thankfully not. Should you need okay. Ask my nose is very itchy today. I don't know why. Alright, back in this maze of a city. That's fine though. Maze of the city is fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. Now I need to go to the temple. Now what did they say to do? Right. So Sarioni is the leader of the impu of the uh the the um Hey, Nocturne Alley coming in with the raid. Oh, I didn't expect this. E were you streaming? What? Aww. Guys, can we get some uh, hype and love in the chat for Nocturne Alley and their lovely raiders? What's going on, guys? What were you doing? How are things? What were we playing? Hang on, let me, let me give you a quick little shout out. And then I'll know what you're playing. <laughs> oh, you're doing some Genshin. Oh, I see. Doing some Genshin. Um, surprise daylight, daytime stream is you got mates coming over tonight. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. So if you've got mates coming over tonight, you're um you're um getting the getting the stream out of the way now. Fair enough. Fair enough. We're going all the way. We're going 12 hours. Midday to midnight. We're doing the whole New Year's thing right here. I've already started. <laughs> We're one hour in, 11 hours to go. Well, 10 hours and 42 minutes to go, to be exact. Um, 
How are you going in Genshin, uh, Noctanelli? You making progress? Or are you or are you kind of like at that limit with the grind where you kind of you you keep playing but you're not making too much progress yet? Like what what's going on? Because I was I'm cur I'm always curious to know like when do these gacha games sort of run out of their day to day playability? You just did a beast of a cryo flower for an event. Ooh. Interesting. All right, we're going to put on a ring. Um, there we go. <clears throat> so, is, did you have to, like, go through a dungeon, beat something up? That sort of thing? You have to forgive me. My, my Genshin Impact knowledge is still a little subpar. They're releasing regular events for content updates. Ah, I see. That's really cool. I like that. That's really cool. It was a week-long story quest. Oh, okay. Right, 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 right. Hey, Aelis for Algonon. Thank you so much for the follow, buddy. I really appreciate it. <laughs> um, type in chat, everyone, for our latest follower. I really appreciate it, mate. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you're enjoying yourself. Thank you. Share the Morrowind secrets. Oh, dear. Um, I... Look, I'll be honest. I don't have too many secrets when it comes to Morrowind. I... I... I know of the Soul Trap stat boosting exploit. I completed the game originally on Xbox using the Xbox health recovery uh, cheat code. This is my first ever attempt at finishing it properly. And we're almost there. We're about to meet Vivek, which is pretty cool. Getting there. Um, but ALS, I'm assuming you have, uh, you've played a bit of Morrowind in the past, I see, I, I believe. The only secret you need, Teacher Mark, oh my god. Uh, Nocturnally finishing with us, fighting a juiced up cryo. Regisvine. Oh. Oh, like 20 times, Nocturnally? So you had to, like, really, so, like, did you, did you lose? Or were you, like, you just, you know, beat it a few times to get the, the drop you wanted? Oh, you only started it five days ago, Ellis. Oh, okay. Okay. In that case, if you have no experience with the game, uh, first and foremost, just FYI, we are towards the, not the end, but we're, we're about to start the end sequence of the game sort of thing. Um, just as a heads up. Uh, tip. A tip that I have for you is go slowly. Don't think that Morrowind is an RPG where you can just launch yourself straight in and beat up everything in your path because the game will beat you back twice as hard. It will paralyze you, it will poison you, it will disease you, it will just destroy you. So um, take your time with Morrowind, um, explore the world when you start to feel that little bit more confident. You know, get a nice weapon under your belt. Maybe get some skills. My my advice is definitely join the guilds. Join one of the guilds. Get some experience with those guilds. They they help you move around the world a lot more. Um, the uh, the Imperial Temple's really good. Really, really good. Dark Highness, you're a cute duck, Mark. <laughs> uh, oh, you were grinding at Nocturne. Okay, cool. You had to fight it that many times to get all the Primogen rewards. Right, okay. That's cool. So, uh, like, I have, I've said it a few times to a few people here, but I'm actually going to... I'm going to start playing Destiny 2 again. I've never played it on stream, but I used to I used to play it almost religiously uh, outside of streaming, like, before I started streaming. So I'm kind of like, I want to maybe bring that love for that game into the stream. Um, that's definitely what I want to do. So we might do some grinding of our own against like raid bosses or uh, dungeon bosses and stuff like that soon, Nocturne. Uh, ALS, ALS uh, you did some quest for the temple to go on a pilgrimage. You have a fighter's good quest, but it wants you to kill someone in the Thieves Guild. So you're unsure how to proceed. All right, so that is my second piece of advice for you, buddy. Um, you cannot make everyone happy in Morrowind. It is impossible. It is not Skyrim. It's not Oblivion. The quest lines intersect. You will have to burn bridges. You will have to burn bri uh, bri uh, bridges. It, it is going to happen. Um, so, you have to make a choice. Fighters Guild, Thieves Guild. 
Nocturnal, you're going to head out as it's also Trady's mom's birthday? What? It's Trady's mom's birthday? Oh, Nocturnally, have a lovely time with Trady's mom. Have a lovely time with Trady. Um, make sure you make sure you ruffle Trady's hair for me to call him a little scallywag for me. Um, I would like to hope that he hates it, but we'll see how that goes. Um, but yes, uh, have a good day, Nocturne. Happy New Year if I don't see you before the New Year changes over, yeah? Okay. Who do we need to talk to? Danzo Indules. Well, this is Danzo Indules. This is actually the person we want to speak to. So, excellent. Wait, we are though. What? But we... Oh. We... But we... We are! We are champion! And they're a very... What? What? Huh. Oh, we've got to go talk to the wise woman again. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Hey, Mr. Coon. Welcome back, mate. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, God. We're going to go all the way back here. Okay. All right. That's fine. Uh, We need to go back to Urshluku camp. Margan. All right. That's fine. What's going on, buddy? All right, we're gonna get, we're gonna, okay, so we're gonna do a little, you know what? <laughs> Hold on, before we go anywhere, we're gonna mark this place. We don't have enough magicka, of course we don't. Do we have any, in fact, we do have some potions. We do have potions that give back some magicka. That'll be useful. That'll be very useful. Um, there it is. Just use one. Beautiful. All right, so we can teleport back here when we need to. Perfect. So, Mech, mate, watching this while Cyberpunk is downloading, you bought a copy for PS4, only 50 bucks. Hey, $10 off. GG. G freaking G, so Mech, how you doing? I mean, you must be doing all right. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. They've started patching it, Teacher Mark, so I'm sure it'll be okay. And worst case scenario, if it's not okay, then at some point in the future, it'll be all right. You know, it'll get there. I'm not, you know, I don't, I, I just, you know, it is what it is now. You know, it's out there in the wild. I still don't intend to even think about touching it till February, but that's just me. That's just me. Okay. So we, we do have a little bit of traveling to do now. It shouldn't take too long. We're pretty fast. And believe me, this is pretty fast. We are faster if we jump, though. Uh, Margan will go by Stilt Strider. There we go. Uh, we want to go to Margan, so I think we go to Saran. Go to Saran. From Saran, we can go to... Damn it. Alright, Malagma. Uh, so, make you doing good. Worst case scenario, you'll either return it, buy something else, or keep it until it gets fixed more. Yeah. The thing is... Oh, damn. Okay. How do we get to Margan? Balmora? Must be Balmora. Alderuin. Yeah, we go from Alderuin to Margan. That's it. Um, That's the thing. Like, uh, Roji's been playing a lot of... um. Cyberpunk and he loves it. He says the game is great. The story is really cool and he's having an absolute blast with it So in all honesty, like I know people have been enjoying it um, Okay I think we're gonna we're gonna go over the mountains because we can fly Or we follow these little stones. I'm pretty sure these stones take us to where we want to go. Or they take us to random people camping out here. 
They who are angry at us. Random people who are angry at us. Okay. Does Morrowind not have fast travel outside of still tries? Nope. Nope. What, do you think this is your fancy pantsy Oblivion and uh Oblivion and, and uh Skyrim, teacher Mark? No, sir. We don't have no fancy fast travel. Back in the old day to the old days of 2002, we excuse me, we had to walk, okay? And jump. We jump and we walk. And we were happy about it, right? <laughs> you know, some of us carried around uh, Fortify Speed potions if you want to go a bit faster. We don't need that. We go plenty fast. And trust me, this is plenty fast. No, no, I'm... I'm Teacher Mark, the, I'm, making, I'm making a joke that this is an old game. It's a joke. Not at you, at the game. Oh, good, my acrobatics level too. Excellent. Eventually it'll get to us. You can get. Come on. You still remember the cliff races, though? You can't not forget the cliff races. It's, it's just... My two memories of this game, cliff races and slaughterfish. That's it. Screw enemies that just plague you. Alright, speed. Look, we're a little bit faster now. More strength, we can carry a bit more. And you know what? Give us a little bit more intelligence. Why not? There we go. Cool. The only reason you bought it is because it was cheaper. Yeah, no, no, fair enough. Came with a few goodies. Yeah, it comes with all that good stuff. I That is one thing I really do like about um, uh, CD Projekt Red's releases. Is that they really go above and beyond with their physical release. HBO Max free trial? What? That's awesome. That reminds me, I have a um, Disney Plus free month that I need to use. Noctia, remind me to use that because I've got to use it like literally today. Wait, I'm streaming all day today. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I need to like redeem a Disney Plus on, well, not on stream somehow. I think that ends. Ah, we'll just get a, it doesn't matter. I don't need a free month of Disney Plus. I just do the free seven days that everyone else gets. I don't need to be fancy, smancy. I I really don't want to go all the way up here. Are we being? We are. Come on. The two. There's a second one over there. All right, fine. Fine. If you won't come to me, I'll come to you. Oh, there are. There is a second one. Oh my god. There's a third one! Look at them! They're like flying rats! Just redeem it during a BRB? Yeah, I might have to. It's through Xbox Game Pass, so I'm not exactly sure how to redeem it. There'll be a longer BRB later. Um, give me a second. Um, where's my pants? There are my flying pants. There they are. Let's get for away! Seriously, finding those flying pants was one of the best things we could have done. They've been so useful. Teacher Mark, you got stuff to do? You'll see us later? Alrighty, all good, Teacher Mark. That's right, I'm fighting these cliff races in the air. Oh shit! I almost attacked the, the bull netch. Oh, we're gonna fall. Ah, <laughs> you have 22 minutes till Cyberpunk? Nice. Excellent. Getting there. Getting there. I don't know, like... It's sort of like, new release games, what's coming up though? Like, I don't, I'm trying to like think about what, what is possibly on the horizon. 
but I can't think of any new games that are like I, I'm pretty sure Cyberpunk was like the last of the you know you must play sort of games that were on the horizon yeah All right, we found the wise woman. Here we are. Okay. Wise woman. I have completed the fifth trial. Wait, what? Hang on. You are Hortator of... Wait, have I missed... Uh, wait, what? But I have. I have united the tribes. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. So we've got the Ahir Musa, the Madstone of the Ahir Musa. The seizing of the Erebanisium and the Thong of Zanab. We. I'm never. I am never Vereen. What is going on here? Hold on. Did this guy never name me Nero Vereen? Oh, we never got to be named Nerevarine of this camp. Oh my god, I'm a, such an idiot. Okay, um, alright. So you wish to be called the Ur Urshalaku Nerevarine. But first, would you hear the Council of Sul Matul? I will. I will hear that because I am understanding of your customs. And I will not be rude. Uh, council. Good. First, I will give you a warning. When you are called Nerevarine, the word must spread. Many must hear. Your enemies will hear and come seeking your blood. Well, I mean, too bad. I've already kind of done that. Well, yeah, we... I've, I've already... I've already done all this. <laughs> I've already done all this. I'm way ahead of you. Right, we are now called... Oh, God. Very well. You should be called Nerevarine. I know you and am disposed to do so. But first, we must speak of the need and duty. Okay. You must understand why a war leader is needed so you can tell others others i'm before i name you nerevarine i must see that you know your duty oh my god not much is coming out soon you have recommendations oh yeah go for it so need yes the curse of dagoth all right and then duty where's the duty excellent cool now make me nerevarine damn it all right before my health and kin before the people of the waste i name you urshalaku nerevarine excellent right <sighs> Constant effect of resist paralysis. Uh, yes. Right. Finally. So that was our problem. Our problem was we. I never actually spoke to this guy and became Nerevarine of this camp. That was my bad. My bad. But you know what? That's fine. That's okay. Because now we've done it. And we can just teleport back. You were Nerevarine. That's it. Uh, fourth trial. You're hoarded all fifth trial, you've been named Nerevarine. You have fulfilled the fifth trial of the seventh visions. There you go. What about the sixth trial? Um, I was blind, but Zura's star has guided me through the dreams. The Vex High Priest Sayori Sayori has asked to see you in your hoarded or Nerevarine. Go to him and demand to speak with the false god Vivek. Vivek has tried to keep Kargonax cool tools a secret, but you'll need those tools when you stand before Dagatha. There you go. Uh, they are the keys to the riddle of the 6th and 7th trials. The 7th trial. The 6th and 7th trial are the same. Alright. Well, Nibani, it was nice knowing you, but I will probably never come back here again, because I am done with these Ashlanders living out in the middle of nowhere. It's time to recall back to civilization. Damn it. It's called it time to recall back to civilization. Oh, this is awkward. It's time to recall back to civilization. Thank you. Whew. Okay. Alrighty. 
Now we can move on. Now we can move on. All right, the little smarty pants mage. Quickly, did you want to meet the arch cannon? Yes, meet the arch cannon. The arch cannon is in his private quarters and he very much wishes to speak with you. But I'm to warn you, avoid confrontations with the ordinators. The arch cannon has spoken with the high fane ordinators, but if you are a wanted criminal, they may try to arrest you. If the blood of the faithful servants of the temple is spilled, it will make reconciliation that much more difficult. Right, we will avoid confrontation. There's a private back entrance to his private quarters. Perhaps you might also sneak past the ordinators by stealth or magic. A door in the eastern canal side level leads to a smaller room. But the door is always locked. That's fine. We can we can lockpick it. Uh, eastern canal side. Let's save here before we start diving into the canals. Because that can always be a bad time. So there's supposed to be a door somewhere here, but I can't see a door. <laughs> I mean, we could just sneak. There's probably something we could have done. Uh, you recommend Watch as League and it's fun. If you don't care about story and you want something that's plain basic, old games recommend Dying Light. Oh yeah. Watch Dogs I've played through. Diablo 3 I've played a lot of, especially with friends. Like, a lot of. Um... I don't think we're going to go into Vivek Hall Underworks. Um, yeah, like, I've done Watch Dogs 2 and, uh, 1 and 2. I do want to play Watch Dogs Legion. Probably not on stream, though. But I do want to watch, uh, do want to play Watch Dogs Legion. We can't go that way. Hmm, interesting. Maybe we weren't supposed to dive into the water. We could just try to sneak past the Ordinators. We are pretty good at stealth. Um, Diablo 3 I've played oh so much of. I, I, uh, I've played out Diablo 3. In fact, I've actually been playing, um, I've actually been playing, uh, Diablo Immortal, uh, on my phone. That's pretty fun. Like, despite the servers not being, um, not really being stable for Australia... It's actually pretty good. I really like it. Wait, are the private... Are the private quarters in here? Puzzle Canal? Hang on. The locked back door in the Hall of Wisdom. Okay. 14 minutes to Cyberpunk. Ooh! So exciting. Uh-oh. Oh no. Pants! Where are my flying pants? When I can't jump high enough, flying pants must prevail. Um, so what was it in the Hall of Wisdom? Hall of Justice. Okay, let's... Let's equip our... Um, our shadow amulet because I think that's going to be really useful for us. Okay, amulet of shadows. Okay. I think what we'll do is we'll rest so we got oh, we can only rest on solid ground. That doesn't help. We'll just wait for a moment. The levitation will wear off in a second. Um, so we don't waste time. I'll also equip a really nice lockpick. Excellent. Wait an hour. Alrighty. Okay, we're stealthed. Cool. We're stealthed. We're invisible. Let's go. Okay. So we're looking for... Cannon officers. I don't think... We want to go to the private quarters. But yeah, Diablo Immortal is really good. 
I must say. It's the underworks. Okay, let's see if we can just sneak past this guy. Oh, we, we can't quite sneak past this person. No, okay, this is awkward. Um, we, we just... <laughs> we will break stealth for a second just so we can jump over this person. Keep moving. Ordinators. Yeah. Hall of Justice. We do not need to go to the Hall of Justice. Let's bounce around this order. Oh, keep that. Keep that invisibility on. If we do not have that invisibility, we will be in big trouble. Alright. Are these private quarters? High Fane. I think this might be where I want to go. Yeah. This might be where we want to go. Cool. Possibly? Hey, we found him! Nice! I'm here. Thank you for coming, Frogonian Frollo. You know the temple's doctrine on the Nerevarine. Perhaps it is time to change that doctrine. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, temple's doctrine, where is it? All the way down here. There we go. The temple must protect the people from the false doctrines, and your association with the Imperial Intelligence makes your motivations and integrity suspect. But you have been chosen Hortator and Nerevarine by the Dunma people, and we have reached a crisis with Dagathur. We can no longer defend the people against the Awakened Sixth House, and you and your prophecies may represent our last hope. You completely forgot you had a 3DS and Smash Bros. That would have made the wait for Cyberbong better. Oh no, Somek. Our situation is desperate, but I would rather have you hear the details from a situation and circumstances leading up to that situation from Lord Vivek himself. He has asked to see you. Would you agree to a private meeting with him and hear in person what he has to say? Uh, yeah, sure. Good. Here are two keys. One for my private back entrance to my quarters, which we just unlocked, and one to Lord Vivek's palace. I regret that at present the ordinators are not completely under my control, so for now I'll ask you to avoid confrontations. Lord Vivek is expecting you. Alright. In that case, we will just leave. Oh, he locked the door again. Thank you. That was very helpful. Alright, we'll just run out. I did not mean to go into the Hall of Justice. This is not good. We need to get out of here. There we go. Alright, we're free. Alright, and we're going to climb up to Vivek's palace. I hope you're ready to see a god, chat, because this is the Morrowind's uh, IRL god. Alright. Here it is. Here is Vivek, god of Morrowind. There's a lot of text on the screen. Hold on. The text will disappear in a second. Might have to go get some water in a second. Eventually it'll disappear. Please disappear, chat text. Thank you. Alrighty. I expected you. We have business, you and I. When I was young like you, I was very impatient. So I will keep our business short. Then, later, there may, may be time for other things. First, I propose to remove my curse upon the Nerevarine. End the persecution of the dissident priests, and proclaim to all of Morrowind that Frogonian Frolord is the incarnate and Nerevarine, the prophesied saviour of Morrowind, and last hope to withstand the menace of Dagatha and the Sixth House. These things I wish to do, whether you wish them or not. Next, I propose to surrender to you the power and responsibility of defeating Dagath Ur. You may choose to refuse, I will not compel you. You receive the power as a gift in the form of an artifact called Wraithguard. You may accept the gift and then do with it as you will. You receive the responsibility as an oath. You may give your oath, then keep it or break it as you like. First, will you accept Wraithguard as a gift? Um, yes. So Wraithguard is one of the items you need to finish the game with. So you do need it. Good. Sensible of you. And now will you give your oath before all gods and men, before all spirits, visible and invisible, before my honour and your honour, to dedicate yourself to Wraithguard and the defeat and destruction of Dagath Ur and the preservation of Morrowind and its people. Well, yes, that, that is our entire purpose of being. Not very sensible, but very good. I was hoping for someone who would have no hesitation about making such an oath. You will now have a brief momentary sensation of time passing. 
not be alarmed. You are being taken out of time in order to avoid the unpleasant experience of learning how to use Wraith Guard. It will be over before there is a brief sensation of motion in total darkness, floating, but without sense of weight or direction. You know it. Now, I will notify the temple that you are a champion. There will be no mod persecution. I hope that both sides shall swiftly be reconciled. We may have time for questions if you like, or you may leave if you wish. But I think there are at least two things you ought to know before you leave. How to use Wraithguard, how to defeat Dagatha. Right, so how do we defeat Dagatha? To defeat Dagatha, go to the Red Mountain to recover the artifact hammer Sunder. Then recover the artifact Keening. Proceed with Wraithguard, Sunder, and Keening to the Citadel of Dagatha. Within the Citadel, find the Heart of Lorcan. Use the three artifacts to sever Dagatha's connection to the Heart. He will be destroyed. The Blight ended on Morrowind. To do this, strike the Heart with the artifact hammer once. Then strike the Heart with once more with the blade. You must wear Wraithguard because you cannot handle Sunder or Keening unless you are wearing Wraithguard. That is a short and simple explanation. Here is the long explanation, written. Exactly. Anyway, so long story short, you can talk to Vivek. You can you can talk to Vivek about a lot of stuff. But I will do my best to sort of explain Vivek's stuff as we go. We do have Wraithguard. It is heavy armor, but Wraithguard is super cool. It gives you a shield. It gives you spell reflect. It gives you resistance to a lot of different things. Um, we might remove 20 of our agility to wear it. So yes, now one of our gauntlets are purple and one of them is silver. It's just going to be how it is, unfortunately. Um, that's okay. Wait, what? Hang on. It took off our other gauntlet. Why? Why did it take off our other gauntlet? Oh no, the agility one has to stay on. Oh, bugger. Alright, so we lost extra strength. Not great. And we got, we've got plenty of inventory space though. That's okay. That's alright. Um, but the main thing is now, we have the amazing uh, resistances. Spell resistances and a shield. Because it is a constant effect, right? Yeah, constant effect. Shield 10 points, reflect 20 points. Yeah. Resist blight, we don't need. But resisting other magic is, is really cool. So that's it. We are, we are officially able to go finish the main quest line now, which is awesome. And we will do it. Um, I think we just need to prepare a little bit first. I think we should go back to Balmora. Uh, we should sell a few things. We should also maybe drop everything that we're not really going to use. So there are some preparations we can do. Maybe buy some potions. And then we can bring the assault to Dagger Third directly. Um, there's a few optional uh, places you can go, and a few optional uh, uh, sort of like dungeons you can go to if you still want to fight Dagger Third, but like you know take care of a few other bits and bobs. But unfortunately, it's just not something I kind of want to do. I do want to wrap up Morrowind today, and we still have a decent amount to travel too. You know, just because we're on the final quest doesn't mean we're we're out of the woods just yet. Okay, I want to go across to that boat. Over there. Just jump over the ledge. I love all the, like, stat things we now have. There we go. Alright, there we go. Uh, travel to the foreign quarter. Alright. We'll take the still strider back to Balmora. Davy, hey, mate. Welcome back. You on your you on a break, Davy, or how you doing? Hope the workday is treating you okay, mate. Okay. It is raining. Of course it's raining. I mean, why wouldn't it be raining? Ow.
Okay. So let's, uh, you know what, let's deal, let's get this, the potions first. We want to make sure we're potioned up. We want health potions, we want, I don't know, we want everything, really. Yeah, quick break. It's a little quiet today. I mean, that makes sense, though. Because you're at a hardware store, like, not many people are going to be going to a hardware store on... On New Year's Eve, right? Surely. Okay, restore luck. Just grab all these restore. I don't want to be stuck with lesser stats. There we go. Cool. Okay, now inventory is almost full. <laughs> That's scary. We could also enchant our spear. We've actually never gone to enchant our spear before. Because we can now buy... She has some amazing soul gems. Like, the value of this one is 60,000. She charges us a lot for it. Hmm. I wonder. Could we sell some things back? Will you take that? You will. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, okay, will you buy this? And that? Yes. Alright, you know what? I'm not gonna... I'm going to get rid of some things. We're not going to use these amulets that summon things. I just don't summon things. Belt of half fire is cool. Fortify bond weapon? We're not using that. Get, ri get rid of it. Davey, you'd be surprised though. Long weekend, so everyone's got out for gardening gear. Oh yeah, that makes sense though. That does make sense. That's a good ring. We don't need a little dinky spell like that. Fortify willpower? Yeah. Ah, uh, we better keep that. That's actually a special one. Healing... We better keep that. Better keep that. That could be useful for thievery. That's cool. Better keep that. Better keep that. That we don't need. That's erratic and random. Kind of cool. But at the end of the day, we don't need it. Okay. So we actually sold a lot of good, a lot of stuff there. That's actually pretty good. Do you take books? You do. <gasps> you take books. Okay. All right, and take this, uh, take this common cell, soul gem as well. Excellent. All right. So, this is only going to cost us 6,000, so that's good. Beautiful. There we go. Now they like us more. Excellent. Um, let's get some enchanting going. So, I'm going to see if I can enchant our spear with this grand soul gem. So, it's got a full charge, cast when strike. Alright, what do we want to do when we hit someone with this? Should we just, like... Let's do... Alright, let's do some fire damage. Ta touch. Yeah, definitely touch. Um, but yeah, if it's a little quiet, Davey, surely, you, you know, you're just chilling then. You're just, like, you know, just chilling and, um... It wouldn't be that bad, surely. Let's do an extra five... Let's do an extra 5 damage on every element on touch. So we do an extra 5 fire damage. We do an extra 5 frost damage. An extra 5. So we do an extra 15 damage of from all the elements on touch. Then it's like a little magical um, spear, which is really fun. So the enchantment, co the cast cost is 6 and has a charge of 300. That's pretty good. I can't really do anything else with it. We can always make these stronger. Hmm. It's not that bad, but having nothing to do is frustrating. Yeah. I mean, there's only so much you can do when, like, the, 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 um, this, everything's stocked, you know, there's only so much you can do when everything's been swept and cleaned and whatnot. Yeah. I get it. I do get it. I do get it, buddy. I do get it. We've been having a good time here. Um, a lot of people popped in earlier on. I think everyone's sort of getting on with the day, which is fine. I always do like the, the sort of next couple of hours are going to be a little on the quiet side. But once we get closer to dinner time and like closer to the scarecrow, people start popping back in again. So I'm, I'm all good with this. We're going to finish Morrowind, which I'm, I'm sort of looking forward to. I want to do more damage. It's expensive. You know what? I'm just happy with this. There we go. I've created a Daedric Spear. Hey! Uh, 
Hurum Sultum134, welcome Nerevarine. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. How are you, how are you doing? <laughs> in fact, we're about to take the fight to Dagatha. You've come in at a very, very appropriate time. Um, we're about to head off to Ghost Gate, head off to the Red Mountain, and start assaulting that area. So it's an exciting time. Exciting time. How am I feeling so far, Davey? Uh, I'm good. A little dehydrated. I do need to go get some more water. Um, I need to buy a couple of these, too. Just in case our thing runs out of juice. Yes, our spear glows now. Yes, I'm so I'm so very excited. We got a glowy spear. <laughs> don't move around, silly sir Enwar, and don't touch Dunma Woman's. <laughs> oh dear. Oh um, Hurum Sultan, you have no idea. This playthrough was balked from the start, buddy. I had, um, I had the community choose what class I played by selecting the answers to the, uh, to the questionnaire at the beginning of the game. We ended up with Acrobat for, uh, Argonian. It is, uh, it was not a good time starting out, but now we've, um, we've advanced to a point where I'm pretty happy with, uh, how we've gone. I, I, I think we managed to mold the character into something halfway decent, which is good. No, we've been a good Argonian. We have very rarely dealt with that filth. Yeah, we're not really using the gloves. Let's dump the gloves. We're going to dump this glove too. There we go. I'm just trying to clear the inventory a little bit. All right. Uh, we don't need all these keys. Let's get rid of these keys. Oh, drop. We can, we can open pretty much anything else, so it's cool. Urano chest. Arch cannon's private key, we need that. Uh, we should probably keep that. A tomb key, we don't need that. Index, we don't... Oh, this item will not fit, that's fine. Books will not fit. All right. All noble Dunmers wanted you enslaved. They did. This is true. The Dunmers did want to enslave. David Orkey, you better get back to it. Yeah, no, all good, Davey. I'll see you soon, mate. I'll see you soon. All right. Respect to... <laughs> hey, Psychotic Crow. How you doing, mate? How you doing? Actually, we might have to dip on a break for just two seconds. Um, in, a, in a moment. I think, I think I'm good. Inventory's a little heavy, but that's mostly... Oh, that's mostly because we've got some repair hammers still. We should be okay. We've got repair hammers... We've got potions for days. We've upgraded our spear a little bit, so now it does a bit of elemental damage. I'm fairly okay. I think I'm okay with where we're at. I think, I think we're okay. Um, how are you feeling today, Crow? You want to see Davey pole dancing? No, I don't think Davey will be doing that. I don't think he'll be doing that. Alrighty, where's the closest place to go skate? Uh, oh, there it is. So there's go skate. Caldera. Oh, well, that's a, actually that's actually really good. We can just use the teleport there. Just trying to ignore it, bro. Yeah. Get a weird mix of food tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Potions is nice, but the Nerevarine doesn't need potion. Here's Trustful Sunder, Keening, and Wraithguard. Well, that's the problem, uh, Hurum Sultan. We don't have Sunder and Keening yet. Once we get Sunder and Keening, then we'll be invincible. Then we'll be fine. We do have the Wraithguard. You can see I'm wearing the Wraithguard right now. There you go. Wraithguard is right there. We got it on. You show an N1, not nethering now, right? <laughs> oh dear. Sausage egg wrap, hamburger, chili, baked potato, chocolate bar. Crow, that all seems fine. As long as you didn't eat them all, like, in the same spoonful, that sounds fine. If they were one after another, that seems fine. Okay. 
It is raining terribly. And this annoys me. <laughs> okay, we're gonna head to Ghost Gate. Um, we will head to Ghost Gate, but... Um, I'm gonna really quickly run to the little froze room. I need to refill my water. Um, I need to run to the little froze room. Just sort of get up and stretch, because if you're going for 12 hours... You want to make sure you're getting up and, and getting that exercise in and, and making sure you're drinking plenty of fluids. So bear with me for a little bit. Um, we'll be right back in just a couple minutes. Um, Sugar Daddy Dagger uh, welcomes you. Ooh. So, make just finished cre creating your character in Cyberpunk. Whoa, that was fast. GG on that. <laughs> GG on that. Okay. Uh, in my defense, they have stopped fighting. In in my high school, the seniors. What? Whoa! Did you guys see what happened to our boat? In my high school, the seniors. Whoa! I need that clipped. I need that clipped. The boat flipped and then exploded. <laughs> that was so good. We have yet to position, but it's not here. Not today. Ivo died that day. She never, her, her mangled body will forever rest. Avon, are you well? Avon, speak. Oh dear, this is not how I foresaw things. Not at all. Oh, Basim will have my head for <laughs> Yes! Yes, they did dialogue! They did dialogue! <laughs> That is such a wonderful easter egg. Oh, that was beautiful. That was actually beautiful. Surprise! Yeah. <laughs> Not fair if you have to deal with an external influence. Chat, I... I don't like this game. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> I... The oof! The oof threw me! Why would you do that? Uh, the oof. We do need... 
need more buffs. Um, <laughs> massive massage machine? Wait, what? Where was that? Oh my god. <gasps> no! No! <laughs> That's not a massage machine! That's not a massage machine at all. That is a water and power. Perfect, let's go. Alright, let's go save this baby. Okie dokie, we are back. Uh, let's get cracking in the final assault on the Red Mountain in Morrowind. Um, I got rid of the rain. I rested for 24 hours to get rid of the rain because that rain was atrocious. Uh, atrociously loud, that is. Alright. So we don't need to worry about no silly walls. We don't need to worry about silly mountains or anything. We'll just put on our flying pants and just get on out of here. Where are those pants? There they are. Alright, let's get out of here. Hopefully we don't get attacked by too many things on the way. I'd rather try to, like, keep my stuff well. Just realized that... Oh, maybe we should have grabbed a second spear. Even though we can repair the one we have, I still kind of think we should have grabbed a second one. That's alright, we'll be fine. I got enchantment uh, refueling gemstones, so, um, soul gems, so we should be fine. Uh oh. We're gonna have to have a flying battle with this cliff racer, I reckon. Are they on me? Is he on me? Yeah. Oi! Look at that! Insta killed. Excellent. Loved it. First kill with our new spear, and of course it's a cliff racer. Why would it be anything else? I was about to say, what the hell are you? We know what you are. Oh, it's so good! It destroys everything! I mean, it already beat most creatures in one hit, but still. I'm still pretty glad to have it. <laughs> Ice, fire, and lightning all striking them at once, the poor things. Alright. Keep on moving. So there's normally a, oh, there's a couple of rats here. There we go. There should be a tower or something we should be able to see soonish. We are under attack by probably another cliff racer. Yep. That's alright. We'll just keep running. Oh, that's a rat too. Damn that rat! I can't believe that rat just hit us! Oh, the spell did not affect there. That was weird. Alright, we're officially at Ghost Gate. Uh, I believe this is the pathway we want. Yep, there we go. We can start to see the uh, the barrier now. Yeah, we've got like an Articu Articuno Moltres Zapdos Spear. That's what we have. Or you ask me which one I prefer, in which case I love me a good Zapdos. Zapdos, pretty cool. Also, like, like Zapdos was by far the easiest to sort of get to, just going to the, um, heading to the, the power plant. Okay, we got to find a tower. We'll follow the barrier around until we find it. Oh, we are under, we are, whoa, what was that noise? Okay, we got him. Ah, there we go, this is what we want. It's not really a tower, it's more of a entry way.
Okay, Tower of Dawn. Cool. So in here we should find a... It's an ordinator. Hello. Archicon has announced that Vivek has selected you as champion of the temple. Um, I would like a map. There's meant to be someone here as a map for us. Hello, do you have a map? Spe specific place. Ghostgate consists of two towers. No. Okay. Annoying. I am not weak, excuse me. I am ultra strong. I kick some serious butt. Alright. Okay. Uh, next quest. There we go. Citadels of the Sixth House. We're not doing that. Okay. Ask a buoyant armager. Right, so we're looking for someone in, like, glass armor or something. That's what we're looking for. So we're looking for someone in glass armor. They have a map of Ghostscape for us, which will be super useful in navigating once we get inside there. Let's have a quick look around. I don't think they're going to be in this side. I think we're going to need to go to the other side, maybe. Ghostscape Temple. Huh. It's actually a temple here. None of our stats are weakened, so I don't think we need... I mean, we can get heaps of buffs here. Uh, Bobster Joe, hello! Love this game. Showing you, friend, how great it is. Hey, excellent. This game is wonderful. We're, we're right at the end. We are about to assault uh, the Red Mountain and Dagatha. Uh, Dagatha, sorry. Um, yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome welcome on in. Alright, we're going to get a whole bunch of blessings. Let's just go for it. Buff us the shit up. There we go. Excellent. Alright. Now we're pretty much invincible. <laughs> Alright, where is this map? Hello. Is there anybody here with a map for me? That would be amazing. Uh, we had um, Bobster, I'm not sure what your experiences with the game are, but we had a good time. Um, oh, this is someone. Um, I had my community pick what class we played. Okay, wait, hang on. Do you have a map for us? Hang on. Let's go through his stuff. Okay. Um, I think we might have it now. Ah, there we go. They are marked. Excellent. Okay, they're marked now. Perfect. Um, so I had my community pick what class we played using that questionnaire at the beginning of the game. They um they selected a uh, an acrobat of all classes. So we had a really tough time in the beginning. No higher stats or anything like that. Made a lot of trouble. But we've cut. We've overcome that. We've, we've created a, a character that I would say is decently powerful. Um, and I'm hoping with enough potions and stuff, we're able going to be able to take down the, the big bad soonish. Um, Zah, hello. Awesome stream. Thank you. Thank you for the kind words, buddy. I really appreciate that. Um, thank you. Hope you're also having a wonderful day. Getting towards that new year. Count it down. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, how do we get out of here? Typical me getting lost before we've even started. Um, that's going to lead back to the temple. But if we go th back through the temple, back into this side, and then we exit out this side, we should be fine. Perfect. Okay. okay ca we can't rest. There is a cliff racer nearby. That's okay. That's okay, though. Open that up. Better close that one. Uh, better close that one. <laughs> I don't really want them to... We're going to let everything out. Alright. Alright, cool. That got took care of him. Okay, so. What do we on? What do we need to do? So to defeat Dagatha, we need two more artifacts. We need the Hammer Sunder and the Blade Keening. Uh, we get both of these from these two dungeons up over here. So we're going to assault these dungeons. Steal the artifacts. Once we have those artifacts, we're going to head straight for the core of Red Mountain and destroy the heart of a fallen god. Uh, seems a little daunting and a little scary, especially considering most of the enemies we're fighting now are uh, blighted, diseased, or 
very deadly um, at this point in time. But that's okay, because we have flying pants, and flying pants can help us overcome anything. We should be fine. The should being the keyword there. Of course, there are still cliff races around. Curse them. Curse those cliff races. Ooh, there's another tomb in here. Don't need to go into Yasu Mine. I'm sorry, Mr. Corpus, but you must die. Lame Corpus. He was a little lame, I must say. Okay. Another cliff racer. Pests of the skies. Are you gonna come and get me? Come on. Let's go. Oh, you actually survived your hit. Holy crap. No many things can survive a hit from this, this spear. That was pretty impressive. It was like a big buff cliff racer or something. He worked out. Went to the gym twice a week. Had some good juice. Um, anyway. Okay, this band's a little steep for us. Alright, this band's a little steep. Time for flying pants. Flying pants will help us sort of overcome whatever it is we're stuck behind. There's supposed to be an entry somewhere around here. Probably on the path, now that I think about it. No. Huh. Maybe go a little bit further up. Hopefully we don't need to fly twice. Oh, we might have to. Oh, yeah we do. Yeah we do. No! Cast! Okay. Oh god. We almost fell all the way back down. That would have been really bad. <laughs> that would have been terrible. I might have to fight this guy. Okay, cool. Uh, seriously, where is this place? Let's keep going up. Don't mind the tail shot of the Argonian. It's fine. Totally on the up and up. Totally legit. Yeah, I think we've gone too far. Oh god, you are still very tough. Oh, we took him down there. Oh, actually, we might have made it. Here we go. Ash Ghoul. Oh god, he's hitting me hard with some spells. You can try as much as you want. You oh god. Oh no, I'm falling. I am falling. He's falling. Oh god, we're all falling! Oh, we were all falling into the lava. Holy shit. <laughs> the uwu shot, I know, right? Crow. Oh god, we almost fell into that lava just then. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom over here for a moment. I want to find this bloody temple I'm supposed to get into. It's not on this side. It has to be, like, further up. Hold on. Unfortunately, we can't just go fight Dagatha. We need to get these artifacts. It must just be on the other side of this, surely. Ah, oh, there we go. There it is. Alright. Okay. Audrisso. Yeah, that looks like it. Can't rest. There are enemies nearby. Is this where we want to go? Yes. Yeah. Oh, we can rest here, though. Excellent. Perfect. So hopefully there's no lava down here for us to fall into. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. There we go. Excellent. There is a worshipper here. An ascended sleeper. He did get us. Oh, God. He got us a few times, actually. Thankfully, though, we, we are wearing the... Um, we are wearing the Wraith Guard, so we are pretty strong right now. There's not too much that can take us down. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he is dead. Good. Okay. There we go. There's the door. Wait, Dwemer Training Academy? That does not make sense, but I guess we'll use it. Uh, let's equip a better spell. Um, do we really want to use a healing spell? I mean, that makes sense. Rest up again. There we go. Alright. The first of the three final dungeons. Let's do this. Okay. 
Three people who immediately Oh god, that's so loud. Three people immediately screamed out, Ugh! So, um, I don't know exactly what's going on. This door is locked. Uh, we'll grab a little lockpick and open that up. There we go. Okay, let's see what's behind door number one. Oh! This is the dead dreamer. Oh god, why is there so much noise? Okay, we might... Ah, oh, there's some good stuff in here. Dwemer coins are worth a lot. We'll take the Dwemer coins. We're not gonna take the... Take the diamond. Like, we will pilfer things for as long... For as long as we can. But we don't have a lot of inventory left. Yeah, it's boring. Oi. Dwarven spear. Huh. Interesting how they got all this Dwarven gear here. Like, we don't need any of that. We have kind of advanced past that. But I suppose if you're lacking in a good weapon. Okay. Down is normally a good indicator of a way to go. That's probably the beginning again. Alright, cool. Another dead uh, corpse with money. Nice. I, did, I hear footsteps. Steal an iron door. Yeah, knocked down. An Amazon package arrived for me? What? An Amazon package arrived for me. Hold on for a second, guys. Like, it has my name on it? Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> no, no, no. I know what it is. I know what it is. Uh, I think I know what it is, and it's A-OK. -okay. Alright. Uh, who's that in the background that we see there? Why is there a creature behind my spear? Nani? Who's this? Dagoth Ordros. Oh, it's the... It's the... Oh, God. It's the actual... Oh, God. It's my undies. No. It's not something I ordered. It's something that... I, I know what it is. I know what it is. Alright. Amulet of Hearthfire. Whoa, that's a pretty good amulet. And he's got a key. Excellent. So that was the leader of this temple. Which means somewhere around here, I'm assuming, is Sunder. But I could be incorrect. Could be incorrect. Hmm, maybe not. I wonder where he is. Where it is. Alright, let's keep looking. There was another downstairs section over here. You're kind of awake now? Yeah. Sorry, Nocti. I didn't realize something was arriving. I didn't realize something was arriving today. So I do apologize for that little, little shock. Nailed him. Daedric Heart. That's worth a bit of money. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. This is where we want to be. He didn't have it on him, did he? No. What's the map look like? Wait, we have traveled everywhere. Oh, there's an upstairs part. Oh, how tricksy. Well, good thing I got flying pants, right? Actually, let's not bother with the pants. I've got, I've literally got a, pretty sure I've got a potion. I tell you, combat became a lot easier when we were able to, uh, when we were able to equip that ring that buffs our agility so much. Expand disease resistant potion. Dwemer armor. A stool. Another 
Jewel, uh, Dwarven Warhammer, Master Armor's Hammer, Dwarven War Axe, Dwarven Mace, but no Sunder or Keening. Nani? Where is, where is this? Hold on. It is supposed to be here. Did I just like pass it accidentally? We're looking for like a small blade. It's meant to be glowy. It's meant to be very obvious. Huh. Interesting. Um, so it's not in this guy's chamber. It's not down there. This just leads back to the exit. Oh, hang on, what was this? Oh, tower. Okay, there's another whole section. Ah, it, it's literally right here. There we go. Keening. Constant effect. Fortifies magicka, fortifies health, fortifies attack. Journal has been updated. So because we're wearing weight Wraith Guard, I'm pretty sure we can wield this as a weapon. Um, which is pretty cool. Let's save first before I test that theory. So this is a cool thing, right? So this weapon, it's so powerful. Like, it's actually not that strong of a weapon. But... It fortifies, like, all of your stats. Like, look at our stats, right? Our stats are absolutely bonkers right now. Um, it also fortifies our health and everything. So it's an amazing little dagger. Absolutely amazing. But if we take off Wraith Guard, Keening is killing us. <laughs> so you have to wear Wraith Guard to get all the amazing buffs. Unfortunately, we're just not good with a dagger, so we really shouldn't use a dagger. Um, but it's really cool that the, the god weapons in this game do actually kill you if you're not wearing the right equipment. Alright, so that was one dungeon complete. The next dungeon we have to do is up over here. Honestly, it might be easiest just to fly across. Um, we should still have a couple of potions of flying. Yeah, we've two more rising force potions. Let's go. Let's just pick the direction. We are under attack. I don't know what we're under attack by. If it's a cliff racer, we'll kill it. If not, we'll just keep moving. We'll just keep moving. We're gonna go up and over. Damn all this red. <laughs> Shit. There we go. I feel like you go faster when you're in first person when flying. I know it's not actually true, but it just feels true, you know? Okay. So we're just, oh, we're about to lose our flying. We should probably drink another po flying potion. We shouldn't need too much more flying after this, honestly. Is the ground we should be going down after this. It's just more I just wanted to get over this initial mountain. And whether we use our flying pants to get over the final mountain. That is so much overkill on that rat, it is not even funny. <laughs> okay. Just keep trundling along. We're almost there. I expect the flying to wear off very, very shortly. Nope, it is, in fact, it is... Oh, it is wearing off. We are under attack. There we go. Wait, how did that... I was about to say, those Cliff Roasters better be dead. Okay. Do I really want to fight any... Oh, never mind. We're here. We're fighting. Get wrecked! Wait, this item doesn't have enough charge? Are you kidding me? It's already used up all its charge, really? So it has! Oh my god. Alright, uh, that's interesting. How much charge does it use in one go? I I'm pretty sure we can charge it though. Um, if we go 
Petty Soul Gem. I want to recharge our Daedric Spear. Okay, that did nothing. Wow. Uh, I... Okay. Okay, we're really bad at recharging our item. <laughs> oh well. Oh, it's because our enchantment level's so bad. <laughs> uh, that's alright. That, that's your sister's. That's fine. I mean, we're better at repairing it than we are at recharging it. Oh well. It was still fun to have it finally enchanted. Like, I wanted to enchant the spear for ages. So it was kind of cute to get actually do it, finally. Okay, keep moving down. Kind of want to stay on the mountaintop just in case we want to stay up here. Get some heals on. There we go. Hey, Viminal! I think that's where we want to be, right? Hang on, let me just double check. Um... Yeah, this is where we get Sunder. So Sunder's a Warhammer. So it's kind of funny. So like we um the the weapon we have you know we have gone most proficient in is the the spear. Unfortunately, none of the none of the god weapons are spears, which is a bit of a shame, but that's okay. We'll we'll live. Wait, is this actually uh oh. Hang on. Go around, go around, go around. No, we're falling. Oh actually, no, that's okay. We're fine. Whee! Might break our toes a little. No, nope, we're okay. We do have a, thing, a few things to fight, though. Alright, we are going to deal with this item doesn't have enough charge message all the time. But, you know, that's fine. Oh my god, these cliff races. Oh god. Okay, I didn't think of us having to deal with all those messages all the time. It would be bad, but that's alright. That's fine. Alright, where's the entrance? I think it's up here somewhere. There it is. Out of fortress. Excellent. Can't rest here. There are enemies nearby. That's fine. We shouldn't need to rest. We should be able to take out most enemies here. Most enemies we take on... Actually, you know what? Let's have a little bit of fun, right? Let's have a little bit of fun. Let's equip Keening. Why not, you know? Let, let's see if we can actually use the, the god weapon. Here we go. We can! I mean, it works! It, it definitely works! I mean, why not? We, we don't get to use it that often. Yeah, fortify attack. So we should do damage with it. It's not going to be great damage, but it's kind of fun. Oh shit, hello! Oh, we resisted the magic, that's good. Hey, Valvarines, hello! Just in time, you are witnessing the assault on the second last dungeon of Morrowind. Hey, how's things, Balverines? How are you feeling today? There are some dwarven spears here. We could take these spears. So we're looking for a hammer this time. Although I feel like the hammer's gonna be in a nice fancy place. Balverine's now you can oh my god. Dark Highness, you need to provide reference for these things. <laughs> oh shit, hello. Oh, our short blade skill went up. Books to read. Books that don't Ooh, fortify speed, slow fall. Air yeah, fire resistance don't care. Heavy Dwarven Dex. Parchment with scrawlings. Eh. You're a what? <laughs> I th I think what Dark Highness is referring to is that you are a cow in her Stardew Valley save. You could have said Wettersorb gave birth to Balby. Oh my god. <laughs> well, Dark Highness is talking Stardew Valley, Balberines. You'll be fine. Oh shit. Get him with the god blade! That does like no damage! But 
They can't hurt us. Why am I using a weapon that I'm not proficient in? Why am I using a weapon I'm not proficient in? Oh, he's dead now. Okay, this dungeon is a... Oh! That might be what we're looking for. Wait, does that make things automatically better, Dark Artis? Or does it make things worse? There's a Daedra. I mean, of course, yeah. Balverine, the cutest of cows. Ooh, is that a... No, it's a club. Short blade skill grew to level 13. Wait, why are we taking damage? Born on the day of the first coffee bean harvest. What? Cursed, cursed cow. Cursed cow. I've decided, as much as I enjoy the god weapon, our main spear does more damage and hits more often. I will deal with the uh, the message on screen. Picture a Balverine dressed as a dairy cow. I can see it. I can see it. I didn't, I didn't see him wrong with this this mental image. Oh shit, there they are. Okay, this could be a little a little bit of a problem. Hold on. Um, let's get a decent stroll out. You know what? A scroll of Black Death sounds great. Oh! That spell looked deadly. Get wrecked. There we go. Alright, you should be dead. Yeah, you'll be dead in a second. There we go. It's like a wolf in sheepskin. Exactly, Crow. Exactly. Oh, they actually had Sunder on them. There you go. Amulet of Half Heal. That's actually a really good amulet. Uh, we now can't move. Why can't we move? Oh, because our strength has been lowered. Damn. Alright, that's fine. Ooh. Drain Fatigue. Ooh. Let's equip that again. Okay, the, this, uh, Keening gives us a speed boost, so I kind of like it. Uh, let's, what, what stats are lower? Just strength? Yeah, just strength. Okay. Um, we've got some, we're gonna, for, uh, restore strength potion. Uh, restore strength. Restore strength. Where is it? There we go. Drink one. Should do it. Hey, strength's back. Wait, we're still over incumbent. Nanny? We are still over coming. Moo bitches. Alright, uh, we need to drop something. We need to drop something. Bugger. Uh, these amulets don't weigh, oh, they weigh a little bit. What have we got? You know, we, we could use, okay, hang on. I got a few things I could use up here. Okay, can we move now? We can move now. Alright, we can move. Okay, let's get out of here. We probably should get out of here, but... Oh, God. Is that a, skele a skeleton mage? Nani? I did not think we'd be finding a skeleton mage here. He, like, conjured that shield. Short blade's leveling so much because we never used it. That's funny. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, we should be good to, to rest now. And while we're here, if we rest another 24 hours, maybe our spear will have more energy. Okay. It does. It has a lot of energy. Okay, cool. Oh, we lost all our magic. That's fine. Uh, which way did we go? Came from here. Through 
through here. And we're out. Excellent. Out of fortress. Actually, we should keep the we should keep the the blade on, because we are looking to to move quickly through the area. Oh shit! I know I can't rest here. There's an enemy right in front of me. I'm not trying to rest. Oh my god, the squeaky trigger is back because I'm using the dud controller. No! There we go. Alright, we took him out. There are more enemies nearby. More enemies have spawned in here. Okay. Alright, we just can't rest. That's fine. What, what is attacking us right now? Oh, you are. What will I play after Morrowind? We'll probably go to Minecraft Sky Factory. Because I, honestly, I don't really have too much lined up. And I don't really want to play Yakuza outside of a night time slot. Uh, time slot? Alright. So, now we just need to head... Now we just head into the, the main enemy's base? That's it? We've got the two weapons that can take down God. Honestly, it wasn't that hard, really. Valverins, what if you had a weapon where you could briefly have... Where you could briefly have plus as many hit points as you wanted, but it would mean twice the amount of weight to your weapon? That's really cool. Well, that's kind of like these weapons. If you're not wearing the uh, the the right gauntlet, which I am now, you can't touch these weapons. They literally kill you. Get wrecked! There we go. Oh my god, we're still under attack. Oh, there's a zombie there too. Oh, we can rest. Nice. Maybe Age of Calamity. Uh, we, uh, we could. We could do some Age of Calamity, actually. That's not a bad idea. I, I was kind of looking forward to playing Minecraft, but we could do Age of Calamity. Let me climb. Keep letting me climb. There's a good mountain. There's a good mountain. Get wrecked. I like how all these miscellaneous stats keep leveling up. Do both? Well, we... I mean, we could do both. Not at the same time, though. But we could do both. Depends on the timing though, because we we do want to do at least five hours for uh, for uh, Resident Evil tonight. The scarecrow has to happen. That that is a guarantee, right? Yeah, yeah, we'll be doing Resident Evil 7. I finally succumbed. I finally succumbed. Oh, yeah. The final cliff racer! Damn you. Alright. Okay. We need to be careful. There's a lot of lava down here. We're gonna re-equip our staff. Oh, our spear. We're gonna go put on my flying pants. There we go. Alright, flying pants away. Carefully, carefully descend into the moor. Stab, stab, waddle, waddle. Damn straight. Well, that's kind of why I was thinking go into Minecraft, because then we can waddle with waddles. Okay. So. Yeah, here we are. Uh, this is the entrance. I just need to find the, uh, the little lever. Where is the lever? It's meant to be a lever to open this door. Um, don't know where it is.
it is. You have to encourage Mama Geek to watch Scarefrow. Oh no, she likes my scared squeals. Oh my god. I, I must admit, it is simultaneously very enjoyable and also very concerning that my extended family is enjoying my fear. <laughs> Oh my god, where is... Oh, here are the pipes. Hang on. There it is. Got it. No, let me in! Almost missed it. Okay, we're in. So we're gonna... We're gonna take our time. We're gonna go slowly. When I stealth, thank you. Um, we're gonna make sure we've got... Uh, scrolls at the ready. Yeah, look, a, a heal scroll at the ready. Actually, let's just use that. Didn't really help us. Yeah, there we go. This will work. Okay, let's go. This is it. This is the final dungeon. This is this is literally it. Come, Nerevar, friend or traitor, come. Come and look upon the heart and of Kulakan. And bring Wraith Guard. I have need of it. That's the fallen god, Dagatha. That's the guy we're gonna come and, and beat up. She's a fan of streamers who have great reactions to games like Ozzy. And his family, so he gets extra brownie points. Yes! I live for the brownie points! Come to the heart chamber. I wait for you there where we last met countless ages ago. The heart chamber. Dead adventurer. What was a dead? What is an adventurer doing here? Oh my god! Why would you do that? Why would you even think coming here is a good idea? You'll be back later on, uh, Balrinds. All good. I'll see you later, my friend. Don't ask me how we're stealthing when we're right in front of them. It's just how it works. I think we're gonna go down. We missed. Come to me through fire and war. I welcome you. Now it's concerning when the big bad welcomes you. Ah, here we go. In a facility. Oh, wow! That guy had really good perception. That was really good. He hit us hard. We tried to hit us hard anyway. Welcome, Moon and Star. I have prepared a place for you. I uh, do not think we should go through those other doors. I think we should just keep going straight. Um, the inner tower. Does that sound right? That sounds right. It does not sound right. This was a mistake. This was a big mistake. Um, but, what have we got here? Varus birth demo. I have no idea who this is. But they have a full freaking set of glass armor. I have a glass shield. We never put on a shield. Should we put on a shield? Oh, you can't use a shield and a spear. Alright, never mind. It was an idea. Whoa! What's that? A blunt weapon. Whoa! That disintegrates armor? <gasps> a blunt weapon that disintegrates armor. That's sweet. Too bad our inventory is full, so we don't need it. It's okay. Pivot Cake, hello! How you doing? What's going on? I saw in Discord that you broke your computer. Are you okay? You're sad? Yeah. I can imagine... Yeah. Demon Longbow. Ooh. Telvani Adept Helmet. What? Yeah. Nope, nothing here. Alright, keep going. It still kind of works, but it kind of does its own thing now. Fuck. Bring Wraith Guard to the Heart Chamber. Together, let us free the cursed false gods. I don't like how he just keeps beckoning us. Like, he should be afraid of us, right? 
Um, Piffle's laptop or computer, sorry. Like, what, what did what actually happened? Like, how did it go down? We can heal. Let's heal up. Welcome, Nerevar. Together we shall speak for the law and the land and shall drive the mongrel dogs of the Empire from Morrowind. This is what I don't understand. His entire plan is to just drive out the Empire. Like, oh shit. Like, he has no real plan for like... Like, he doesn't want to take over the world. He just wants to take over Morrowind. Try putting the laptop in a deep fryer. I don't think that will help things. Somehow, Crow, I think that will make things worse. I just can't put my, put my finger on why that would make things worse, though. Wait, we're still under attack. No, we're not. Oh! Oh, shit! Who are you? Wait, you're not Dagatha. No. Is this how you honor the sixth house and the tribe on Morn? Come to me openly, and not by stealth. Come to me open, not with stealth? I've pretty much been using stealth this whole time. <laughs> oh dear. So our weapon doesn't have enough charge now. So I'm kind of thinking... Yeah. You knocked your huge ass coffee over it. Oh no. Smash the other screen. And you're like, this is fine. It still works. But because you have a touchscreen mod computer. <gasps> oh no. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be rough. Fuck. Can I just like rest? I'm just going to rest for 24 hours. Get more charge in our spear. Fuck. That's why, like, I, I need to be so careful. Because I, I drink a lot of coffee and stuff around my stuff. I gotta be so careful. So, if you poof, your computer decided you need to watch someone else. Yeah, your computer's like, no. That's enough Aussie dev, bro. Uh, we want to watch uh, someone else now. Gosh. I didn't know that the game picked up on the fact that I was using stealth. That's kind of crazy. Kind of cool, too. Alright, here we go. I do believe this is his chamber. Yep, there he is. Dagatha. There is the god right in front of us. Let's see how he sizes up. Oh, he can Welcome see us. Moon and star, to this place where destiny is made. I mean, he's not fighting us. That's him. This is the god. This is the bad, big bad. Um, of the whole game. Just, just stand in there. I mean, if we kind of like turn around here, right? See, we, we size up pretty well. You know, we're not that much smaller than him. See, we're, we're okay. I think, we, I think we, we look good next to him. It begins here, it will end here. Have you any parting words, or would you prefer to skip the speeches and get to our business? You are the challenger here, after all. So, to you goes the courtesy of the first blow. Parting words. Now that you have come to me here, there can be one, but one result. Many times I have considered, considered offering to share a place with you. I considered offering to accept your oath of service. You might try to buy that trust by giving me Wraithguard, Keening, and Sunder. I thought we once again might be friends, comrades, brothers in arms. But I have won this place and power by right of conquest, by right of daring and enterprise. I will not risk it to cunning and deceit. I offer you no deals. If you are my enemy, I cannot trust you. And even if you are not my enemy, I cannot let you live. It will all be decided here. I believe I will prevail, but I cannot be sure. And I am vain enough that I should fall. I would wish to be remembered in my own words. So if you have any final questions you would ask, ask them now. I have final questions I would ask of you, if you would answer. I think uh, I think everyone at the moment, Piffle, is, is starting to... Uh, research new computers <laughs> i think everybody's doing it at the moment 
My first question is, are you really the Nerevari born? I am a self-willed hero, and I make my own fate. You are bold. I honor your independence. You are one to teach the gods their limits. I hope the bards will praise the glory of your death in song. My second question is, if you win, what do you plan to do with the power of the heart? Will you make yourself a god, establish the hierarchy? Or will you complete the Akulan and dispute control of Tamriel with the Septims? Will you share the heart with your followers of Iav and breed a new race of divine immortals? Um. I have my own secret plan for the heart. Uh, I don't really have a plan. Honestly, I was just going to destroy it. Well, perhaps there may be surprises in store for me yet. Or perhaps you obscure your plans on principle. Or perhaps you are an instinctive bluffer. No matter. My final question is, if I had offered to let you join me, would you have surrendered Wraithguard, Sunder, or Keening? To me, to seal your oath. Um. Yeah, perhaps with the right guarantees. Why not? Since it hardly matters, let me assure you, there are no guarantees that would help you once I had my hands on those tools. Pity I didn't try to bargain with you. It might have made things easier. But now if you have questions, ask them. Otherwise, you are the challenger. I await your first blow. Um, I'll ask some questions. What is your plan with the heart? Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Okay. Alright, I'm finished talking. All this stuff is, is just drivel. Defend yourself. Very well. If you're impatient to begin, you are the challenger. Alright. Wait, I'm the challenger! He said first blow goes to me! Well, he's dead. We killed him in three hits. Um, final boss, ladies and gentlemen. He was weaker than all the enemies leading up to this place. He has lowered all our stats, though. So GG on that. Uh, we can't actually move. So he did He did get me. Um, I just can't move. Okay, we can move again. I've, I've healed as much as I could. That'll have to do. Alright, so, this door is open now. We need to strike... We need to strike the heart with Sunder, and then we start destroying the heart with Keening. So, here we go. What a fool you so, this is his real form. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating oh, shit. How could you oh, god! Okay, we hit him. We hit the heart. No, he killed us! He killed us before we could do it! <laughs> he just took us down! Oh my god. He just took us down before, the, before he died. No! Alright, let's try that again. Okay. You know what? No talking! You die! Wow, he's actually stronger this time. Somehow he was a little stronger that time. Um, he actually got some shots in. Alright. Restore agility, endurance, uh, willpower, strength, personality, luck, intelligence. Alright, we can move again. Cool. Okay, equip Sunder. Okay. Be ready with the heal. Alright, let's go. There's a little blink and you miss it, yeah. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocent. How could you be right. so nice? It's weakened. There is no escape. You do no call or intervention can work in this place. Come, lay down your weapons. There we go, it's done! 
He's weakened. He's weakened. Alright, let's go. He should disappear in a second. Wait, why isn't he gone? He should be gone. Why isn't he dead? No, oh, he killed us again! <laughs> Damn it! Okay. Hold on, what's going on here? Why are we... Okay. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Of course, we would have no problem with the entire game until the very end. Okay, you got us with the spell. I hate that spell. That spell's little crap. Alright. Let's rest until healed. Let's see if that helps. We still can't move. That's fine. But at least now we don't have to fight him again. Resting in the middle of battle. Eh, it's fine. Okay. Sunder. Go. What a fool you are. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocent. How could you be so nice? There's no escape. No recall or intervention. Kill the heart. I get the heart's dead. Lay down your weapons. Not too late for my mercy. The heart's destroyed. The heart is destroyed. It should be destroyed. It should be done. There we go. So he was making like a giant body for himself. It's it's a little tricky to see because you can't actually destroy him. Yeah. So there we go. And that's it. So we had to run away. I don't know why we didn't run away last time, but that's what we had to do. Anyway, we should be free to get out of here. But the cool thing is because our acrobatics are so high, we're able to just jump down. Whereas you're supposed to go around this big long chamber and dodging him and fighting him and stuff, but we just jumped down. And it just goes to show, when you have, like, older games like this, you can create these amazing set pieces that just don't, don't quite work out exactly how you imagine. I don't know why we're still under I don't know who can see us, but we are apparently still under attack. Wait, how do I get out? Hold on. Wait, we can't go out here? There we go. Let me out. Huzzah. We're free. That should do it. You no longer bear the burden of prophecy. You have achieved your destiny. You are free. The doom Delima's folly. Lord Dagoth's temptation. The tribunal's seduction. The God's heart freed. Prophecy fulfilled. All fate sealed and sins redeemed. If you have pity, mourn the loss. But let the weeping cease. The blight is gone and the sun's golden honey gilds the land. Hail, Savior, Hortator and Nerevarine. Your people look to you for protection. Monster and villains, great and small. Still threaten the people of Vardenfeld. Enemies and evils abound, yet indomitable will might rid Morrowind of all its ills. For you, our thanks and blessing, our gift and token given. Come, take this thing from the hand of God. There we go. And then she offers you. There we go. Uh, can I has? Can I has? Thank you. There we go. Spam Hydrate. <laughs> Alright. So that's it. That is that is Morrowind. So like it does seem like not a not a bit of an anticlimactic thing, but it is like it feels weird, right? You spend all this time 
powering up your... Oh, oh dear, I'm cursed, apparently. You spend all this time powering up your own stats, right? And for only... Really, you have to wear a bit of heavy armor. You have to use a blade and you have to use a hammer, right? There's no... You have no other option in this matter. You have to do those two things. Um... But yeah, that's, that is it. That is, there's, there's not too much. Wait, what? How am I? Oh, I picked it up. <laughs> I didn't mean to pick up whatever that was in there. Um, so yeah. Well, I mean, we can go back to Vivek. We can go talk to Vivek and say we've done it. Um, I suppose we can do that. But aside from that, we should be done. Our speed is lowered. I'm not entirely sure why. Yes, rub it in his face. Yeah, we can say we did what we we. Oh yeah, that is the wrong spell. We can say we did what he couldn't. There we go. There we go. So now we have a ring on that is uh that allows us to see in the dark, which is really cool. Once again, they give us an item that lets us see in the dark after we beat the game. But yeah, that's right. It does fortify your endurance, uh, your fatigue, though, so you are able to sort of infinitely attack now, which is kind of nice. What do you have to say about me? Yeah, you... See, these guys, they don't know. They don't know that we've defeated a god. They don't know how powerful the Frogonian really is. But the cool thing about Vivek now is he's mortal now, technically. And I do kind of wish Kai uh, Caius Cascades came back. Because then he would, um... Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Because then he would, um... You'd be able to s explain to him what happened, which would be fun. Uh, you shouldn't be a god anymore. The blight is gone. We have survived. Now we must dedicate ourselves to rebuilding the temple. And you must dedicate to yourself as your responsibilities as protector of Morrowind. Alright, we have survived. We have lost our divine powers, but not altogether. Some token of the people's faith remains, and shall dedicate to rebuilding the temple. It doesn't say. Still issues to be resolved with the temple of the distant priests. Now that the great enemy is gone, we must reorganize the temple. You know, I don't really want to deal with all that. He, he, you know what? He's not, he's not, um, he's not sad for what he did at all. And he put us through a lot of beef to fix his mistake. So you know what, chat? You know what we should totally do. Because he legit put us through a lot of grief to do this. I think we, we show him what for. Piffle, time to head back to work? Alrighty. Have a good stream. I'll see you in the new year. Yeah, I'll see you in the new year, Piffle. I will either see you in the new year or I'll see you later on tonight. Oh god, he legit almost just killed us in one hit. Holy crap. He legit almost just killed us in one hit. He's still very strong. Ooh. His spell is something else entirely. Hold on. Oh! Oh god, he goes. <laughs> We're dying. We are dying. Hold on. Oh, I managed to hold it off. I managed to hold it off. Oh my god, look at all the health he's got. Ooh. If that spell hits us again, we will be destroyed. He just will not die! Oh, we're dead. <laughs> Alright, well, there you go. We we killed one god, but apparently... Like, once again, why couldn't this guy do it, right? 
we we were reincarnated to fix his problem, yet he just proved he is infinitely stronger than us. Like, what the hell, you know? <sighs> oh well. Anyway, that is Morrowind. That is the end of Morrowind. That's fine. I had a good time with it. I, um, well, look, we can now say, or I can now say, at the very least, that I have finally defeated my childhood open RPG. I have defeated the RPG that... I cheated to win years and years ago. I feel, you know what? My my soul has been saved. I feel better about myself now. I feel like I have uh, redeemed myself in the eyes of my childhood self. So you know what? I'm I'm feeling good. I'm happy about that. We are going to um, not today, but in the new year, we will start an Oblivion playthrough after this. So we're just going to roll straight into the Oblivion, um, Elder Scrolls uh, Four Oblivion. Um, but it'll probably happen in the nighttime slot. What's going to happen is we're probably going to start doing Destiny 2 in this midday slot. Not right now, once again. We're going to probably move on to Minecraft or something. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take a few seconds. I'm going to go make coffee. Uh, I will give you guys the December, uh, best of video, which, uh, I've only shown once, but I'll show it again now. I'll let you guys watch that. That's about five minutes long. Hopefully by then I'll be back with coffee with Minecraft ready to go, question uh, mark. It might take a few seconds. Uh, stream shouldn't have to go offline to get it to happen, um, but we can start it nationally. Here we go, what, what are we gonna do? So we're gonna, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna minimize that. I'm going to get the video ready. Where is it? There is it. Because if possible, I would like to have the video running while Minecraft is opening. That's the idea here, guys. There we go. Okay. So the idea is I want to have this running while Minecraft is opening. Okay. Hold on. I've got a plan. Give me a second. Add source. Um, where is it? No, that's not it. Well, there should be an image here, which is our little... No. That's not right. Alright. No, not that! Ah, that's not what I wanted at all! <laughs> that's not what I wanted at all! Alright, fine, we're gonna find another one. Alright, down. Let's see if we go down here. Hold on, guys. Two seconds. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Done. No, wait, we're still here. Oh, yeah, see, look, so look, right? So we got that, okay, cool. That was step one, right? Step one is that I've put this in front of myself, okay? All right, here, well, actually, we want to go over here. Let's do that again. <laughs> Let's do that again. Yeah, okay, fine, whatever. I might have just broken something else later, but that's okay, I'll fix that later. Um, so that goes there, and then, watch, watch, then we're going to add a media source, alright, uh, and then, no, no, we're going to add a desktop source, right, 